Oh my gosh, I think I'm actually live. Okay. We're going to have some internet connections problems tonight, folks. And I know you see me on there and my lips aren't moving. That's because I got something for you while this is a preview. While I do my stuff in the background. This is me, a video I'm about to dump. Oh, you know what? You guys can't hear this video, can you? I'm sorry, guys. I'm in the new studio, and I'm changing stuff around. I just even realized. Hold on. Let me pause this. You got the text on there. I was like, why are people dropping off so quick? That never happens. You can't hear anything. Ah, oh, his stuff's all screwed up. The hell with him. I know what you did. Hold on. Look at this. I can click a button here, and there I am. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, headset capture. Now, question is, can I, from that screen, I got all cute and clever and built myself a new scene on my studio software and didn't incorporate this, the audio. See? Now you can hear it. You just can't see it. There, now you can see it. So I got stuff to set up. Hold on. I'll let that play when we'll let the audio go and I'll talk over myself a little bit. And while I get the uh, live feed set up for us. Second. Oh, get back here. Save. Whew.
Hey, buddy. You want on camera? Hold on. Ugh, come here. No. You have your own bed over there now. I did this one before I got my new lights in the studio. Oh, that's something I need to do. I got this thing where I can do these. Pin the message. Double check that. That's it. All right. Can I get some feedback whether or not how loud the uh, audio is? So writing so much, what are you referencing to? All right, we're done with this. Close. Close. I haven't actually launched that video yet. Uh, you guys talking about writing so much. Oh. Audio sounds good. Guys, stop writing. I there is comments in the video screen that aren't on my freaking page. Rick, are you on a Twitch? Wait, I didn't I didn't launch Twitch. I think I deliberately turned Twitch off today. Oh, wait a minute. I'm on top chat. You know, I hate that, guys. You know, if you look at these live chat things, there's top chat and then there's live chat. Always make sure you select live chat. Now I can see Rick's comments. Oh, Rick, you're the only one to comment. YouTube has been doing, yeah, YouTube has been doing this, and they catch me almost every time when I'm on somebody else's live. They go to the top chat. Uh basically trying to say these people are they watch a lot of lives so whatever they say is very important it just means they got nothing better to do the uh and so rick i couldn't you you know you you don't watch a lot of lives or you would have been in my top chat they're talking about top in youtube i don't show up in top chat with all the subscribers i have you know uh it's for that th filter was put in there for a bunch of people that have like 300,000 subscribers and do this other stuff. Okay, so what we're going to talk about or try to talk about here is uh, migration today. 
Uh, supposedly migration is ready to go. <coughs> now, uh, let's just see, you caught me. They, uh, but migrations for kingdoms 1 through 220. See, I don't know the rules, Rick. They, they don't publicize it to anybody. It's last second. We've decided what you're going to do. And and we're just going to tell you what you're going to do. And that's why the first part of this video is about another game called Age of Apes. Where I can go to any damn server I want to. And it's the exact, pretty close to the same strategy game. Uh, there's some differences there. And quite frankly, the differences are enough that it's very entertaining. And I don't know if there's an echo. I hear an echo in my ears. Uh, kind of a rattly echo in the audio. This is a new room. I'm no longer out in the shop. Winter's coming. My health is shit. And, uh... Alright. There's that. You know what I'm going to do? I set this live thing up for a reason. Because I wasn't going to do a lot of in-game stuff tonight. Let's go here. And let's turn off screen one. There we go. And let's... Oh, I, I just spent all the time setting stuff up not to do it right. Woo get the Get the camera to focus. Camera going to focus? I don't know. No. Come on, camera. Ooh, I'll go back slowly. You know, they, they say they're, that the trick to this, I rarely do, is do that. That helped. There we go. Now it focused. That is the trick. Just stick a piece of paper up in front of the camera to, and trick the autofocus. Ah. So what I will do, hold on, I can't see. So I don't have my third monitor because I'm in a different room. I had a monitor for watching chat on. I will have it up there eventually. But I'm under very, very strict doctor's orders not to lift anything. I'm not supposed to bend over uh, and have blood go rush into my head. Uh, we got an emergency appointment in Monday. All this is pissing me off. This it, It's now critical that I go see this... Uh, doctor to, before I go blind but the incident occurred three months ago and I've been requesting over and over and over and over again to see the doctor and then once I actually got to see an ortho, uh, orthodontist not orthodontist uh, the eye specialist once I got to see, see the eye specialist he freaking panicked I'm like doc how come you're more panicked than I am <laughs> Yeah, uh, the, uh, so Monday I go in to a retina surgery specialist and we'll see, they're trying to save my left eye. Uh, and what was really pissing me off about this is the VA, the doctor calls to the VA and says he has got to see a retina specialist now. It is an emergency. And the community care at the VA calls me up and and she goes, well, I'm going to call around and find your retina specialist. I said, no, you're not. You're going to send a freaking form over to uh, TriWest. They're going to call me up and we'll find a, a specialist. I said, the doctor recommended three surgeons. I'll choose from one of those three and I'll tell TriWest who I chose. And she goes, it doesn't work that way anymore. I said, that's what the law says it does. And what basically has happened since Biden's office is the law don't matter if you hadn't noticed, but for the vets, it's even worse. We literally wrote a law for community care, and it was written under Obama, but it was bullshit under Obama. It's exactly what it is under Biden, in that the VA is going to tell you what to do and when to do it. And they'll tell you, it, and I mean, literally tell you when you can do it. And, uh, but it's gotten a little worse. Now that they know that the vets, we go out, we spend an enormous amount of time training veterans how to be a frick, your own freaking lawyer when it comes to dealing with the VA. 
and their response to that with the vets knowing how the system works knowing what forms they need to file all the paperwork stuff that we need to do their response to that is them son of a bitches better fucking learn to keep in their place that is literally their response the uh so the community care woman calls me up on wednesday after i'm seeing the doctor and he's he's panicked he wants me into a specialist now and uh she goes well i got you an appointment for 9 30 on friday morning I said, could you give me all the numbers, names, and information? So I threw a fit about the fact that she said she's going to do it. It says, it doesn't work that way anymore. TriWest just pays the bills. I'm like, the whole point of community care was that the VA was doing such a piss poor job of it that we let the veterans go make their own appointments. And yes, TriWest pays the bills. But the VA turned around and says, we're going to make your appointments and we're going to tell you which doctors to go to. And this gets back, if you watch one of my previous lives, gets back into a kickback system. The uh, Rick, can you even confirm? I'm going to sidetrack into the Guns of Glory stuff. Rick, can you even confirm that it's 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 one through two hundreds is what they limited it to this time? They literally went. They they said it was optimized, but they optimize everything. Every time they change something, they they think they've done it better, uh, and they still hadn't gotten to the fact that they'd done it wrong the first time. Uh, you can't get a better form of wrong, but Guns of Glory certainly is trying to get a better form of wrong. So the community care woman calls me back, tells me I got an appointment at 9.30 Friday, uh, which would be this morning. Uh, and I said, could you give me the name and the number of the doctor? And, uh, yeah. She hesitantly gave me the name and the number of the doctor that I'm going to go see. And the reason she hesitated is I called him, right? I called him five minutes after I hung up the phone with her. And I said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Don, and I'm, I'm, I got an appointment for 930 tomorrow morning. The VA just called you, like, in the last 10 minutes. Sir, you're not on our schedule. And no one's called us. I said, is there somebody else in the office? There's only two of us that work this entire desk. No one has called us. And then she goes, we see an appointment in here for you for last year. You were a no-show. I said, I, you mean when I went blind in my right eye, I had an appointment? It says here the VA said that they would, they, would, they would notify you of the appointment. I'm like, oh, did they? <laughs> so they made an appointment last year. But this is the tricky part. I'm in the, I'm in the eye doctor on Wednesday, and I ask the question, do you see anything in there where they referred me to a retina specialist last year when I went blind in my right eye and uh <laughs> and she goes no there it, it just like she made all these notes but yeah there's no no reference to a doctor referral and this is before I find out there was she had called over in a panic herself and made me the ret the retina specialist and the VA said hey we'll let him know Okay, so we're going to log in on the Guns of Glory thing here shortly. We'll do this again. Uh, I might get kicked out again. I don't know. The uh, I got something else going. So where do you go? Where would, where would I go look for this migration? We can show you some of my messages I gotten recently. Here's the wonderful people. You know, here, here's someone who looks a little uglier than the Mona Lisa. He's very proud of her. The, uh, I'll tame your fat ass with a baseball bat. Is your mother fucked little monkey? Hadn't attacked or talked to anybody in the kingdom in a year and a half. And this is the stuff that just randomly blows in. The uh, and these are the and and here's and this is the thing you'll love. One of the reasons I want to show you, I forgot to show you this. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Uh, this is in 2021. Oh my gosh. I know what this is, and honestly, I don't know how to fix it. Just this second. Uh.
Right up. Yeah. I have mentioned to Celtic about this bug, and he says, oh, I got it fixed. It's not fixed. It's logging me out. All right. But I want to go back. I want to go over this messaging thing. This is important. It's important that you know. So we go. So those are the two this year. Then we're going to go back a full year. Oh, I'm not reading that one out loud. Yeah. This is last year when their R5 says, I, I'm supposed to apologize. I got another device logged into the game right now. It's my freaking, it's on a different computer. It's in the other building. It keeps logging me in. Ah. Uh, No, that's not what I want. Okay, I'm not showing you anything, so that's good. Where is my Discord? I did not. I got sidetracked with all these errors today. I didn't tell anybody that I went live. So if Google ain't telling you, and Google isn't telling you, then nobody knows. Right? So, did I just, I just closed the freaking window. Man, I am par for the course. And one of the things I've gotten since we did my last live is I'm now on, on Lyrica. Fairly good painkiller. No, it does not get you higher stoned. It does make me tired and sleepy. Uh... My dad's like, oh, you stoned. I'm like, no, I just slept for 18 hours. Man, I was out of pain for a while, and I slept for, God, I hadn't, you know, I, I sleep like two hours a day normally because I'm, I'm always in pain. And what was I about to type in? Now I'm a little scattered here. Uh, oh, YouTube. That's what I was about to go to because I can't see your freaking chats. I miss not having my other, uh, I got to get my other monitors up. That's all there is to it. And... There we go. Hey, there, there we got some viewers in there now. So everybody's got the... I'm trying to look where... Okay, while while I'm trying to figure out my login situation, guys... Uh, please type in the chat where it is you go to see where the migration is, okay? And then I'll demonstrate it as soon as I fix my problem where I can show my screen. Uh, man, Celtics, are you free? You know what? Let me do this first. Uh, See what happens if I wake his ass up. I need to look at his thing. See, he's asleep. That's why my shit's. Yep, go there. Uh... Oh my God, Bubba. We've got a piece of software, and the damn thing is so beta. And once I logged out of it, I don't know where, there, there's not a public login to it. And I don't know where... That's the wrong link. Let's 
try that. Yep. GOG Eagle Eye. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. That's going to be a find anybody on the map service. Yeah, there we go. All right. Dashboard. You've seen those services that are, that they, they, do you in the, uh, you know, in the, the message boards where you're dealing with some overseas shady stuff? We're going to bring some of that stuff a little bit closer to the surface uh, through a, a proper portal and proper people and people you can get a hold of type things and people who aren't hiding. Because at the end of the day, if you're not going to do anything about those services existing, you can't turn around and say, well, there's a terms of service that says that you are not allowed to have any of these services. Okay. That means that, uh, what? Because them services have always existed. They've never gone away. And quite frankly, just starting to piss me off that they, what they want is a monopoly. And I'm a little tired of the freaking do as we say and not as we do type of thinking. That's my profile. Oh, I'm in the wrong damn thing. Uh, uh, what is going on here? Man. Oh. That's what's going on there. I didn't. Okay, so now I can blow that up. Sorry, guys, I'm hiding a whole bunch of stuff from you because I have to. Yeah, it's just part of the gig. Doctor's uh, gifts, shield, tribute. Man, he doesn't have this. This is why I told him this was important. And it's not ready to go. We're testing stuff and it's just not working. I'm not working so much that I can't even turn off the computer that we're testing with. Gather. And this couldn't be more boring for you guys that are watching, right? Settings. Man, if there is a simple way to turn off that PC remotely, I don't know what it is. It's supposed to come back whenever we crash it. That way we don't have to keep looking at it. I don't have to keep walking between the buildings. And it's doing exactly what it was designed to do. But I wasn't even thinking about, you know, what am I going to do to. I'll tell you what I can do. I can delete the account. There we go. Account deleted. That'll do it. That'll fix it. All right. Rebuild it later. Let's go back to our live GOG settings. And, man, I wish it would do the... Okay, so that's one of the things I need to do with the live GOG things, right? I need to put the... You know what? Let's go back there. I think 
this like this. Let's do that. Let's add a source. Uh, the streaming live. Oh. Well, first let's add an alert box. And then let's add a source. Uh, instant slideshow, image, other, browser, sources, display source. Uh, video capture, media file, stream labels, screen capture. Ah, is it in widgets? There it is. Chat box. Add source. Add source. All right. Now the chat should come on the screen. When it starts updating. I imagine it resets every time I switch labels. Okay. So exit. Did. Oh, mother. We're going to have a problem here. We're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem here. <sighs> we apparently going to have a problem here. <laughs> like I said, not ready for primetime software. That's why I hadn't told you guys about it. Hey, look at there. Now I can see some things. Uh, there is a tab under the War Aid Center, top right of the screen. War Aid Center. Uh, top right. Oh, man. I haven't been, I bought one of these things. I was actually buying some stuff. I did a whole bunch of videos that are in the queue. And Bubba, limited time, master recruitment, do it yourself, pack daily special. You mean something else. Okay. Uh, I want to know how and why such new kingdoms have migrations. You would not believe how far down gaming is this year. Uh, rip, rip 52. Oh, 60% loss to gaming because nobody has any money. And if you want to know whether or not the president's full of shit about how great the economy is, gaming is down 60%. People don't even trust themselves to try to play for free right now. They're avoiding their phone at all costs. That's across the board. The, uh, uh, rank one, it depends on your power. And I, and you guys see right here, uh, I don't, so I went to War Aid Center. What am I missing here? You got to remember I'm blind. Top right's an X for me. So Big B, help me out there. Uh, so basically, if you get rank number one in the kingdom, you're migrating to, then your price is $2,000. I don't know if it's a to or from situation yet. Uh, Jonathan, what, you know, again, it's easy to say the game sucks so much. I can't, I, I can't play it because fun plus sucks. Yes. Fun Plus is not acknowledging that they're not putting anything into it, but there is no return on the dollar. There's a business, there's a business tie to this. They're not, they're not getting a return on their dollar if they put something into it. They really, honestly, should have just gone hands off with this migration. Go where you want to go. Twenty-five dollars. Move as often as you want to. We don't give a damn. <coughs> <coughs> 
and and been done with it. You know, you move and then put like a 60-day cool down on whether or not you can move. That kind of stuff. You could have put some limits in it to, to create a stabilizing force. You know, because quite frankly, there's a bunch of people out there that would go out and buy a dead account or hack in a dead account and then move it just to zero me out. Because they think I care if I play at zero. I'm at zero now. I've been at zero for uh, 60 days. While we're testing out this new piece of software, I got caught by the Kingdom Troll. He wiped out my one and only March. It is now sitting in my sanctuary. Yeah, I will show them how much they hurt me. Woohoo! No troops in my field. It's all in my sanctuary. Because my hospitals are up there. When I get ready to just unleash stuff, I'll still have one march to go kick everybody's ass with. And from what I've seen from all the people who hit me trying to be little uh, party pricks, right? Uh, none of you got the stats to freaking fuck with me. So I, you keep looking at them top show stats, and I keep looking at them damage stats. And after not playing for a year, I'm still going to kick your ass. All I got to do is build troops. And buy a few stat items. Uh, and I've done a couple of stat items here recently just to... As part of doing some films, you know, I had to because we uh, I screwed up the damage film. That was the last film that I dropped was uh, the damage numbers. Uh, because I didn't go in there like a coiner and there's a whole bunch of coining areas for damage now. I didn't even look, you know, I'll, I'll be fair. I, I wasn't going in to spend money. And then my Discord room turned around and says, you got this, 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 and this. And I went, oh, okay, that'll be a part two. Because that's a different way of playing. That Those are max account damage numbers. Uh, and then you've got the, who is it? Girl is no one. And, oh, my God, let me look at the Discord room. Uh, Discord. Let's go here. Oh, man, guys, I still didn't share out to the, I didn't tell my Discord guys I'm, I'm freaking live yet. Ah, 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 ah. I am such a bad freaking guy. Okay, so at everyone. Dink. Wake up. This is kind of late for the East Coast guys. Most of my players will be East Coast. This is late for the East Coast guys and not early or not late enough for my, my Aussie guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, the uh the damage video set old Tom Vapor off again. He was in the Discord room popping off his mouth. <laughs> he he is trying really hard to say, I am so old school, I don't know how the game's played anymore. It is pure pay to win. It's never been pay to win. Uh you 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 focus on the one or two kingdoms that play that way. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. But a guy who's got twenty thousand dollars a month to go blow on an account, he didn't roll a random account in account in Kingdom seven hundred, you know. He he built an account and then he dropped thirty grand and built his account up overnight. The uh, that's how that works. Built his troops up because is it's no different amount of money spent starting a brand new account and going to max. Matter of fact, it costs you more if you've been there longer. We figured it out. What was it? Was it three four years ago? No, it was, yeah, it was three years ago. Uh, one of the guys had bought max loot every single time it came out. And he'd been doing that for two years. And since he'd bought max loot the day it dropped and everybody monitored, everybody checked. And he was a superstar because he always bought it, right? We'll say bought it now because it seems like there might be some hackers out there. Uh, I'll get into the hacking thing in just a little bit. Um, the... But it was like $1.5 million over three years if you bought Max Loot for the year and a half that he'd been apparently buying Max Loot. The, if you bought all the Max Loot, 
But there's been, and that's where I'm going to get on the hacking thing. There has been, for a long time, the ability to change the store is on your phone. It is not on a server. All right. So you roll in the 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 gallery coins, and the gallery the gallery the the, the shooting gallery is in your phone. It's not on the server. You rolled on the things, and it told you what loot is, and then it told the server what loot you want. Your phone actually did that. Well, guys went in there, and they changed the file so that all the spaces had the max loot for whatever of the six things. So you had to just go in there and spend one coin. You got max loot, reset it, spend one coin again, got max loot again, and you could max out <clears throat> everything. Then all you'd have to buy is the... $50 item and you didn't have to buy the $3,000 worth of upgrades because you got them out of the shooting gallery and I don't want to and, and I said this I said this in the in the discord room is like I'm not accusing any of these guys of cheating or being the ones who've done this but I do know that most of the max players I've talked to over the years have somebody else doing their clicking, building the troops and buying the gear and all the stuff as it comes out. And then they kind of, they log on, do some dailies, talk to people and <clears throat> go play the KVK. Okay. And you can bet that that person that they shared as a helpful person to build their troops and stuff, because all they did was they built a bot that went in there and clicked on all their troops for them. Uh, the person they were hiring and paying to do that kind of, because you know, and I know that if you had to build, you know, when I go in to build 3 million troops, you know, that's, that's about the most I'm going to build in, in a, in a two week period, 3 million in one session during the event where you can build troops. Uh, one, that's four or 500 bucks uh, in speed ups. The, so I don't know if some if there's a hack out there. Now, you can't get speed ups out of the shooting gallery. So I don't know if there's a hack out there somewhere to... Now, there was always a, a bag duplication hack. And I don't think it completely went away because the bags still drop random numbers. And the roll-up, where you turn everything into wood every six months always leaves one or two of the things in the bag why wouldn't you make it all go away because you need that item when it's no longer being monitored by the hacking i would imagine uh so what i'm getting to is the person that they probably hired was taking money for the packs and then using the hack themselves on their hack device to get all the stuff. It's a, you know, if you got three or four clients that way that think they're buying three thousand dollars worth of stuff, this guy was clearing, you know, fifty to a hundred grand a year, cheating people who now don't have an account if the rumors are true. I got no way of verifying if the rumors are true. Uh well, that's not true. Let's go. Let's go back. Uh, I built an account. Switch account. Uh, Google Play account. Oh, I cannot see my own screen. Uh, you know what? I think it's this one that I did that on. Account not found. Well, oh, wait a minute. I know what I did. Ah, I, re I remember what I did now. Okay, Facebook account. This is what I did. All right. Unlocked. Okay. I am now in a much older kingdom. Go. All right. 
Oh, because I put that screenshot when I come in here. I mean, these these people panic when I built a new account to come in here and find out what was going on. Because you want to get around the. And here's the, here's the best in the business out there, guys. Freaking can't turn off their shit and stop spamming their kingdoms. Of course, the game could do this. It's been an annoyance for us for what? Two and a half years? The game can do it. Let's see if I got any. I got some gold. Do a shout out here. Sin. All right. Did I join an alliance? I did not join an alliance. I got a shit. I came to this kingdom where girl and no one is, and the bots started immediately inviting me. I mean, immediately. No one knowing I'm here. No one knowing my account. So the bots just constantly scanning for new 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 arrivals to the kingdom to send me invites. <laughs> Basically, to, legitify, to legitimize some farms, you know, so that if you get 15, 20 people who don't know they're in a bot farm, uh, they're playing UAC for them. There's a COG icon if you click the pirate chest events. Uh, pirate chest. Okay, let's do that. Oh, a cog. Uh, oh, yeah, I know that. I'm just saying they didn't do it, right? I I hadn't even gotten in here. I always turn mine off because I don't want anybody to know I'm playing. Basically, why I do it. I go anonymous on the board and I turn it off and I don't want anybody to know I'm, I'm building up power that they don't know about. Because you can play the pirate event and store a whole crap load of stuff in your bags and keep your power down real low, which makes the cost of migration cheaper. You guys get what I've been doing for a while? I don't have a maxed out account, but I got a lot of damage on an account. And, uh, see, look at this stuff. No one knows I built this account. Right, I got one from H E H. This is the people that we turned around and stomped the living piss out of, because they were the biggest scumbags I've ever seen in the game, and basically the crew that's been chasing around and asking me for years. And they run a very sophisticated bot system, one that went and found gun use because I'm a keyword apparently they search for. See, and then it, Party Central. In Kingdom 471, K360 is WIP, and it's in Russian. That's not Russian. That's uh, Turk. H-E-H. -H. Uh, boys. And holy shit, I got some people on the block. Wait a minute. Am I looking at the wrong account? I don't know. What account am I on? What kingdom am I in? Did I log into the wrong kingdom? Kingdom. Kingdom 579. Really? Holy shit. Wrong kingdom. Not who I meant to log into. But apparently, it doesn't disqualify anything I just said. I mean... Okay, so this was a test account I forgot about. Uh, settings, Facebook account, account management, unbind, Kingdom 579. We'll get my, since I'm here, account management. So I just make that account go away. Not what I want to do. Twitch account. Let's go to boot. Wait a minute. Did I put it on my Twitter? Let's go to my Twitter account. I think my Twitter account's. A... 
Yes, I know it's not bound. Go ahead and switch. Count not found. That's right. I unbound that one in case I want to do something for live. It's got to be on one of my Google accounts. Ah, we'll figure this out. So you don't need to hack. It, look, it's it's a strategy game. If you've got to hack the strategy game, you fucking suck at strategy you don't need to be playing. Stop trying to fool yourself that you're a smart person if you've got to hack a strategy game. It means you're a shitbag and you're trying to pretend to be something you're not. Instead of learning how to play and engage in a strategy game, right? Uh, guys, and I'll tell you, for those who just joined so late, uh, I got a little thing going on with the Age of Apes. Uh, if you see the banner up at the top where it says rogersraiders.com slash age of H in the pinned comment the, on the scrolling comments, uh, download that game. Uh, I'm in Kingdom, uh, I'm in Server 101. The server's called Gorilla. Uh, I tell you, I, I got to play in it. I went to go check it out. It is Guns of Glory, for the most part. Uh, you're going to have everything's different. The graphics are better. The interface is better. The way that you build troops is better. Uh, it's not a race to the top right off the bat. You're going to get bombarded with buy this, buy that type stuff. And I'm going to tell you, I spent $41 on it so far because I know how to play Guns of Glory. I know that this was the exact same game. It's just much newer. Uh, it's built by Tap for Fun. And what I spilt, spent them on was the fighters. When they offered me a, a fighter at a discount in the starter mode, I took it. <clears throat> because it literally is the guns of glory ad structure. These Chinese companies are not working together. They're just stealing from each other. They don't know if the other guy's idea is good. They just know the other guy's doing it. So it must be good is what they're thinking in their mind. It's laziness. They're stealing from each other. Uh, Jonathan, I think you'll like, if, you, if you're a free to play player, you're gonna like Age of Apes. Okay, you may not like it because there's a bunch of mini games in Age of Apes. There's like a whole bunch of different types uh, of strategy mini games in there. So the keep busy work is kind of fun. All right, let's see what kingdom I'm in here. I don't even know. I don't even know what kingdom I'm in. 30. Oh, I can't be in what I think I am. At least people are talking in this chat. and they're ch Look, their kingdom chat's all clean. Kingdom 746. Oh. All right. So I got some gold. All right. We'll do, we'll do a little spamming. Oh, they don't know who that is. I was hiding. See my green screen? I had my little green screen. I I, have, I was effectively hiding in this kingdom. They didn't know I was there. Um, close that out. There we go. There's that. Uh... And all the invites here, that's part of the that's part of the quest, right? So I'll accept them. They may not have gotten anybody to ever accept their invites. I'd never like that because this system was used to track people and I swear it was put into the game so that people could cheat. All right, let's go here. Settings, account, account management. And we're going to unbind. Yes. 
account management. Not what I'm man, I'm just switch account. Yes, yes. Man, I know I did this. Ah, uh, I know what I did. And I never do it. Okay. Don't bind. Switch account. Fun plus. Has not been saved. I may have to black out the screen. Switch character. Because I went into the big bullish fighting kingdom and created an account. Because like I said, if I really wanted to get in there, all I'd have to do is... Pac-Man, how's it going? 1 to 120. Dear Lord. Return of the King. And I'm like I'm like a new player. Now I can like now I can like spam through the Return of the King bonuses as well. <clears throat> so you can this is going, you know, somebody asked me, it's like, well, you keep going to these new kingdoms. Why don't you just go to an old kingdom and build up an account every week when we do the lives? And I took the suggestion to heart, right? It was a good idea. And then at the very least, I could be in a kingdom that's, that's doing this stuff. Let's go to, let's make sure what kingdom I'm in. And I know I'm in the right one now because I saw that KVK spam. All right. Kingdom 52. Okie doke. I don't think I got any gold here. You have used the loudspeaker. See, you notice on one kingdom, it showed me my own shout out, but on this kingdom, it didn't. All right. There's that. So there I'm in Kingdom 52. Because there we have the rooms, the rumors for girls is no one, stuff like that, all of the stuff. But I kind of heard about it about oh, a little bit before you did. Uh, I don't want to out the guy in case he's repeating something from another room that he shouldn't have been repeating. But yeah, I, I got sent a private message about bannings taking place. But see, I don't go out and put that kind of stuff out there because it could all be bullshit. And in all honesty, if these guys are spending $10,000 a month for real, they ain't going to be banned for more than five minutes. And I also know how Guns of Glory bans people. If they think you stole from them, they don't delete your account. They just make every new purchase you make go against what it is you stole so that they can keep collecting money from you. Uh, so they wouldn't be stopped from playing KVK. They would really be hindered in everything but free play, which if you're smart, once those accounts are built up, you could get around the free play all the time. Uh, that's just what that is. And I see so many people joining in now. Da, 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 da. Tomorrow KVK, guys? I don't even know what Saturday tomorrow is. Tomorrow's my new dishwasher day. I'm getting a new dishwasher tomorrow. My dishwasher died like six weeks ago. And, you know, I could have easily just gone out and bought a, a cheap little $500 one. But I had to save my nickels and pennies up to get an $1,100 dishwasher because I'm lazy. I want that thing to blast the freaking dishes to all in. <laughs> I ain't cleaning shit. That's what I'm buying a dishwasher for. Yeah, tomorrow we have off. Uh, next Saturday's KVK. Okay. So I'm not keeping any, but no one went to bed early tonight. Is what I'm getting at. The uh, I don't think I can even see the Pirates game. 
here because I haven't leveled the account up enough. But this is a KVK in Kingdom, right? This is where all the bans supposedly took place. That's going to my mailbox. Events. Wait a minute. Today's Friday. Where's the wolf? Kingdom of five two written in Russian. Current message updated on five two twenty two. May second. So no one's changed the message board in this since the Russians did something. I would say something's going on in this kingdom that, that no one knows about. It, and, and at the end of the day, it's none of our business. But the rumor mill is the rumor mill, right? Uh, and really, the rumor mill that somebody got hacked could merely be put out by the people who wanted to switch kingdoms and change their name. You know, that... <laughs> That possibility has definitely come through my thoughts. Yeah, switch kingdoms and not tell anybody who you are. Don't get into heavy spending, but just get to be, you know, big enough to be in a tower again. No one know who you are. Because uh, you don't know who you're playing with. Wait a minute. UAC is from restart. So they changed the schedule up here. Wait a minute, do I know what day it is? It is Friday night. Where's the wolf? Event center. It was in my mail. System. Kingdom is under a threat. Attack. There he is. Okay. Why wouldn't you use every... Oh, oh. Because <laughs> I am literally living into 660 troops. This ought to be interesting. I guarantee I won't top the wolf board here. Let's look at the wolf board. Uh, doo, doo, doo. so that eight, I, you know, the use of commas, guys, the use of commas for my Chinese friends. So 51 billion is the damage. Uh, I noticed it since I started talking about and bitching or bitching about my eye problems, you know, they, uh, they put a color blind or color, a uh, helper thing in the game that is not helpful uh, where is it at color correction no that's not it uh, high contrast mode a bubble appear above the alliance button whenever when enabled content will become easier to see Please get in touch with our player support if this mode fails to improve your visual experience. <clears throat> the last thing I will try to do is get in touch with your support because your support is outsourced. Uh, I don't need to talk to your messenger service and they don't translate well. They don't understand what it is I'm talking about. And quite frankly, I think I got enough pull then I promoted your game enough over the last few years that maybe if I'm telling you your shit ain't working, you should get in touch with me. 
Because right now, I don't give a shit. I'm playing Age of Apes for the most part because it's exactly like Guns of Glory. I will still be doing Guns of Glory content, but I'm just going to do some general how-tos. You know, not much more than what another, well, a lot more than what other YouTubers do. Let's let's be fair there. Uh, I actually understand why I'm doing it. Uh, as you've seen in the last one. And the videos that I've just put out have been very, very popular. I Knowing how much the market has fallen, I did not expect a third of what I did get. I thought I would get like, you know, a thousand views and, you know, six or seven minute watch times. But if I make a 17 minute video, I'm getting like 16 and a half minute watch times. Uh, the, uh, that's unheard of. It's crazy math. Uh, so the people who are still sticking with me are sticking with me because they want to learn. So all I really, all the, all the, the 60% reduction in gamers is really the 60% who are bouncing around. Uh, so can't ignore it. My audience is what my audience is. I appreciate everybody that, that's followed me over the years. The money everybody's donated to my charities has been outstanding. And it's going to be a blatantly terrible number this year. The uh, Just an absolute horrendous number this year to be dealing with. When we need it the most. That's just the way that works. The, uh, all right. Man, I wish there was a way to run a poll that people could click on on their TVs. How many people are doing this on a TV so they can't even see the description or the chat box? That's the big question. Uh... I have to say that I would never use the King's Group thing because if you ever wanted to sell, that's one of the reasons the King's Group account login system was put in place was to stop people from selling accounts. The uh, If you don't know, and you don't know, if somebody turns around and binds one with two binds, where they bind one with a Google account, and they bind one with a King's Group account, and then they sell it to you via a Google account, they just log in with the other one and go and unbind the Google one after they got your money. What are you going to do about it? Who are you going to complain to? I broke the terms of service inside the game and bought and sold the account. You're not, you know, complain all you want. Not going to happen. Uh, and there's no way for you to know. So what they did was they just made it painful for anybody that wants to play their game and wants to spend money to it, but doesn't want to spend all the money they're asking. So rather than fix their math problem, their business problem structure, they just punish people who wanted to pay to play the game. That's what doing that bonding system the way they did it. They don't think of it that way. <clears throat> they think like communists. Take the rifle butt, knock it up against somebody's head because they're doing something I, don't, I told them not to do. That's the way they think. So that's the way it is. I doubt I got a teleport, but I should have a teleport. Go teleport next to that dam. Click. I need my 2,000 gold. I don't have 2,000 gold. Inventory. Click, click. Oh, man. One little hit on that wolf. Yeah. Got some levels. And like I said, doing it in an old kingdom... It's a higher level wolf. I'm getting more stuff for it. I think you get a basic, no matter how good you do. It's in tiers. 
So I'm in the lowest tier, but the lowest tier is still more loot than I would have gotten in a new kingdom. Did my chat freeze on this screen? Well, I don't see any chat. Nope, you guys just stopped talking is what you did. <laughs> All right, put you guys to sleep. <coughs> okay. So, let's do this. I'm going to switch this to Age of Apes. I'm going to log into Age of Apes games. I'm not even going to finish this stuff. Yeon, right? How many times have we seen this stuff? Let's go show you my... i got to play my... I, I'm I actually fun playing this. Oh, wait, get out of here. Come on, show me my cursor. There we go. All right. Age of Waves. You are slow charging. I get that. Oh, man. One of the ports on my computer is high power, and the one that I picked when I moved all the equipment in here is not the right one for the phone. And I have blue screened to death my computer a couple times. Blue screen to death typically means hardware problem. And I'm I'm sure that the phone saying, hey, we're trying to draw more power than what we're getting. Is definitely the reason why. So I have 10 videos in the can for this game. That's how fun the game was. Basic principles for starting things up. You got your help button. It's very important. People will get you all kinds of building for free if you level up your embassy. Same thing as in, now this is the problem I have with this game, is it, see it won't let go of my cursor. I went and bought a brand new mouse. I got five mice on my freaking desk thinking it was the mouse that was, caught, that was clicking and holding on. It's a glitch in the gaming software and the filming software. Uh... I don't know if I got any, I might be waiting to upgrade stuff. See, I was doing it chapter by chapter for the videos. And then I, I had to lay down for a day or two, about a day and a half, two days. And I kept playing the game uh, on my phone. And so... I think I got up to like chapter 11 on film, and then I think I'm on chapter 15 or 16 now, and skipped the things. Not that there's a, a bunch to have skipped, but I just wanted to do them all in order, just to have them done. I will at some point have to go back and start a new game. And all right, Jonathan. The uh. I appreciate you showing up at the very least. So, the things that are different in this, that are that are the similar. So we got our normal. We got you know almost all these games are the same. Our, our mutants would be our threats, right? I don't know. And one of the differences. One of the big differences is if it's nighttime in the game, the threats or the mutants are stronger. And I don't even know if I can kick a 16's ass anyway, because I'm like a level 12. VIP is very important. You get good loot from it. Fighters are your guards. 
pretty much the same system. Uh, all right, I did win that one. Now this is like a okay uh the green banner thing now I'm now I'm blanking out on what it's called so you get all these operations almost everything in Guns of Glory is here uh there's events starting that I'm too low level to join yet and it looks like it's locking you into the tutorial for a longer period of time uh because building there's no training camps. If I want to build more troops per batch, then I have to up lay, upgrade the thing. So basically, I'm limited to 500, 700. And, so I, and then there, you get into the research. And then I get into this bug. <laughs> and you see the aggravation I've had trying to film this game. Okay. My new mouse. Oh, what's up, buddy? Huh? What's up, my little friend? Ah. Oh. I was going to show you, but inside the training, you can add more per queue. Uh, I damn sure having, you know, as as you get, and but you also level the types of troops in the research versus in the training building. That's the difference between the games. And I like it better. I think that was a smarter way of doing it. Uh, I think we mentioned something about that two and a half, three years ago. I would believe that somebody watched what Guns of Glory and the videos and the ideas. There's a whole bunch of my old Guns of Glory ideas that are built in this game that I just discovered, you know, a couple weeks ago. Close the game and reopen the game. <clears throat> it's in this mouse loop. Oh, oh come on. You don't want on my lap. Okay. You, here's the thing. I'm in the house now. So I got animals who can walk in when they want to and say, Don, I need a pepperoni. Not that he didn't do it out in the shop. He had his own bag and a pepperonis out in the shop. And hopefully on the other side of this wall, everybody can still hear me. Yeah. But I had to move the studio into the house. Basically, I work a lot at night. And I'm getting so blind that uh, injuring myself in the dark was a real possibility. Uh, that and uh, for the crypto side, I'm converting the entire shop to doing crypto. I've done... Everybody else is panicking, and, you know, they're, they're like, oh, the world, the sky is falling, crypto's down. And I'm like, I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. I'm making more money than I ever have. And, yes, it's at the bottom of what it was last year, but I'm making more money. Uh, the If this is the bottom with the money I'm making, I can't wait for the top again. Uh, and. The beauty of doing this and the crypto channel at the same time is as the crypto, the, the Ethereum craze crashes, uh, the ability for the average gamer to engage in crypto to pay for their gaming to where you're mining up the coins that you're spending for gaming 
that's about to there's a thing called neoxa in n e o x a it is now going to be in two games as a spending currency and all you got to do is leave your computer on at night let it mine and you get free gaming currency and i'll tell you right now if you were mining it up last month when i talked about it and i showed it on the on the thing you would be up 500 percent this month and it's still isn't in the game yet it's one of those things like it's probably going to be the one that utilizes uh in games because it's so hard to get what's called a application specific integrated circuit device an asic to mimic it because it's so hard on gpu and memory of a graphics card the uh look at this stuff we got stuff that isn't right this video is running limited as a request to review I don't know that's fine I hate to get flagged demonstrating in the game the nasty SOBs that, uh, you know, I have to deal with from third world countries. Okay, let's do, now they've got, their chat boxes are definitely weird. Okay, so look, their chats are like, I think their chats are tied to a real world chat trying to get whatever free search results you can get out of it. We got our gang chat room, R5, R4, which I'm not. Uh, important notices, but let's go to Well, look at that stuff. Okay, that's the live feed. That's clan feed. It's private pack box. There you go. Ah. Uh, there's a bunch I don't know about this thing, but there's a So there's things that are like our uh creation only this is this is similar to that only not i'm going to lose here because as you can tell uh, i don't want to put you there Can I replace them with you? My troops power. Confirm. So challenge this is why I think this is one of these things where March speed starts to become in these mini games right how fast can my little mob move around to kick ass
challenge failed because I couldn't get anything to click on it, right? So there's there's that. Uh, and then, of course, look at this. We got these raid things. This is going through and doing all the ones I did before. Open. We have some stuff opened up. So multiple hospitals, like we had multiple tents. I don't like that. I wish that was. Especially if we're going to get into this problem. As a handicap person, I need my damn mouse, and it's. I think this is an anti hacking device in the software that's giving me grief. Uh, but I don't have it all the time. Yeah, so there's that. Oh my gosh okay so let's get in some politics guys for those a few that are left okay let's go over how the politics has been a little crazy hold on here uh, what is the quickest way to build damage you got to play that that's honest to God's truth the quickest way is, is, is play Damage has been part of playing the game. Always has been. Until the recent ones that, like, <coughs> you look at my damage video, that's all play damage that I put in there. And then the ones I forgot were the ones you just got to go buy. It's a loaded question because the quickest way to do anything is to spend money. Right? Are you marketing for Guns of Glory there, Rick? I am Rick, and I want people to buy, spend more money in Guns of Glory. What's the quickest way for damage? Spend lots of money. That's the quickest way. But uh, playing the game every day, there's lots of damage numbers. Go through that video. There, I showed where a bunch of those damage numbers are. All you got to do is log in every day, and you're going up in damage uh, every day. Half a point here, half a point there. It doesn't take long. The... Uh, but, well, what take, does take long is the catacombs. Catacombs takes forever. I'm going to switch cams here. Hey, look at that. My chat stayed there. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get banned off of YouTube. Let's talk about Joe Biden. How crazy is this son of a bitch gotten? The, uh, you had the press secretary who walked out. And when the Fox News reporter, uh, Mr. Peter Ducey, said, why can't the tennis player come play tennis? He doesn't want to take the COVID shot. Why can't he come? And it says, well, he's not vaccinated and those are our rules. Like every other country but us has dropped that rule. Why haven't we dropped that rule? And then they go blathering off about the science of this and the science of that. And I'm like, but every other country said the science was bullshit. We're not following it anymore. The United States will be the only one that doesn't allow people to come in without the shot where the side effects is literally more dangerous than the than COVID would ever be. Uh, the And I thought about doing a COVID shot public service announcement commercial. And the reason I thought about doing that is on TV, if I see a drug being promoted, Flomax, diabetic drug, anything, there's this long, long list of side effects that's required by law to be part of the commercial. This is not true of the shot. 
because they're not promoting the shot. They're promoting the disease. And they turn around and said, people are not allowed to say the word anywhere on YouTube or anywhere else because you're going to be promoting false information in their eyes. Well, if we can't talk about it, then I guess there can never be any proper information. Are we to list, not listen to the other 170 country scientists who, who showed their work? Or are we to believe the CDC who has hidden everything? You know, it, it's one thing. It, it's it's sad. The uh, I, I never thought we would be here in the United States. But basically, we're in a world war. This world war started. Now, there is some real damage, yeah. Uh, the we're, we're in a world war, the first act of war for 2,000 years. This is a fact. Don't try and ban me off of YouTube for stating this fact because it's just a fact. The first act of war for 2,000 years by any country is counterfeiting of currency. The Chinese have figured out how to circumvent the counterfeiting of currency by counterfeiting production using slave labor to mine up mint raw resources and then undercutting the world markets on all these resources which our federal reserve sets the value of a dollar when we print these dollars there's supposed to be something to back it including the mining of lithium somewhere in another country just because we print more dollars doesn't mean the united states dollar is going is becoming more worthless it's supposed to be backed by a real world resource the problem winds up being is we're, we're printing these dollars based on slave labor and fuzzy math. Uh, there's a whole bunch of tech areas where they're printing dollars where the tech doesn't exist. Uh, we won't get into that. It, it, that's confusing. you got to go way down the rabbit hole to figure out what the Federal Reserve is doing these days. It's not what it used to be. It used to be pumped a barrel of oil out of the ground. All dollars were converted in, because oil you needed oil to make anything. So oil was what the U.S. dollar was based off of. We went off the gold standard. We used lots of products and, and commodities to determine the value of the dollar. And then uh, under Obama, we printed, we printed $17 trillion. No one's even talking about that. We took the entire, and at that time, the, the U.S. debt was seven, got all the way up to $17 trillion. Every ounce of debt he printed a duplicate dollar and handed it to another bank in Europe. The uh, oh yeah, she's cute though. <laughs> there's there's definitely a reason they hired her. She checked all the boxes except intelligence. You know they're not walking across the border. Uh, ma'am, have you seen a TV lately? Can, can I go take a picture outside my door? You know, I live down here, so I, 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 I hate to dispute the facts of what she thinks is happening. They're not walking across the border. They've literally caught 17 ter known terrorists now crossing the border on foot. And that's the people they caught. That's not the gotaways. The gotaways are a big-ass number. <clears throat> the... What happened from that was a whole bunch, and, and this may not be publicized in a bunch of news for people who don't don't realize what happened as a result of her, where people go, whoa, we know they're walking across the border. Okay, that was just such a blatant lie. No one can believe you after you said that crap. And what happened after that is the next week, the mayor of Chicago said, so the, the governor of Texas sent 70 illegals to the city of Chicago by bus because they're a sanctuary city. When when Trump tried to outlaw sanctuary cities, they turned around and says, nope, a city has a right to do what it wants to do. And I agree with that. That's called, you know, all laws are local. If your city, now, what I disagree with is a city council made themselves or city commission, whatever they want to call themselves, some mayor said, we're a sanctuary city. That's illegal. 
and no one is sued underneath. They have to hold what's called trial of jury or trial by jury. The word of and by. Man, it's been so long since I looked into that law. Uh, when you get tried by a jury in a courtroom, it takes all 12 of them to convict you. A trial of jury is a jury of the community, and they argue whether or not they want to restrict or create a right that is bigger than the Constitution. Okay. Uh, this is how, you know, Wyatt Earp was hammer. You always see in the movies is hammering a sign in outside Tippy. No guns allowed. That ain't how that shit happened. The, the citizens of the town went and had a trial of jury, which is what I think it is, because uh, they used it against the porn king, uh, uh, the penthouse guy. The Supreme Court case, because he had taken the Supreme Court. Uh, this is where they kind of, where the Supreme Court, everybody really applauds the First Amendment capabilities of allowing the porn to be sold within the cities, even though the cities said they didn't want it. Uh, they, The Supreme Court pretty much el eliminated, catastrophic, how you doing? Pr Supreme Court pretty much eliminated your local rights in that case. They never mentioned that. That what the Supreme Court overrode was that some city said, look, we just don't want this stuff at the grocery store behind the counter with our kids pointing the crap they want to buy while we're at the counter. You know, how unreasonable of those citizens to think that way. Uh, you know, you can always build a bookstore outside of town. It's a simple thing. No, 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 we got to shove it in your face. Uh, we have rights to free speech. Uh, they, you know, and you don't have a right to educate your children. You don't have a right to restrict what they see and what they don't see. Uh, answer questions you don't want to answer. You know, <laughs> whether it, you know, and I'm not trying to get down that rabbit hole, but I mean, just at the end of the day, that's kind of been the core of the Biden administration so far, right? Any parent who has tried to dictate what their children see can or they tried to take away their right and call them terrorist. Uh, can't have that. Uh, Larry Flint. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Larry Flint talk. I can dig it. <laughs> well, I mean, but we always, you, you, you get a one-sided view of what, what the Larry Flint decision. It was a great for the First Amendment. Larry Frank can print whatever he wants to print and can sell it. That was part of that decision. But the decision also turned around and said that towns don't have a right to say not within our city limits. This was the same laws that these towns used to tout no guns in our city limits. Right? They took that right away from the citizens. And then they wanted to keep saying no guns in certain cities while they turn around and said, but you have to have these magazines behind the counter. The, uh, so this is the part that people didn't understand about those laws before I blue screen my TV. And that might, you know, I shouldn't, I should have paid attention there. Cause, cause I have got to get back here. I can't. All right. And you saw me just bend over there. I have been ordered by the doctor not to bend over until I get into surgery on Monday or I could be blind forever. We're at the prefaces of the back of my left. Hand. I got one eye that works and it's about to blow out. The, uh, the right eye that you see is, you know, dead and lazy now. Uh, it still works. I've got a speck in two corners of my vision that, that it is clear. But it still works, and if they, I think it's I think it's fixable, but it's taken us two years to get in there. So the those decisions were horrendous in how they were done. It was like the Roe v. Wade decision, right? Let's really dig down deep in there. The Roe v. Wade decision in in the 70s was not to give women the right to choose. This is where the movies and the protesters 
are reading into it what they want to say, and they're trying to make it personal to get people to vote. Okay, but that's not what Roe v. Wade did. Roe v. Wade took away the rights of the states to choose whether or not they wanted it within their states and or the communities because Roe v. It, the communities wolf was after reset I did the wolf I was doing the wolf the uh, wolf's up for some reason it went on my event calendar on on that new account so that, that's just a glitch on a new account new accounts got different overlays on them, so, so don't read any of that the uh, the so what Roe v. Wade did was Roe v. Wade solidified another Supreme Court judgment from the 20s called Buck versus Bell. Okay. What the Supreme Court judgment in, in, on Buck versus Bell said was the government has the right to kill and or castrate any citizen they deem to be a burden upon society. Didn't have to be convicted of a crime. And... In the in the twenties and early thirties, we put fifty seven thousand mentally ill people to death under this law that is still valid law today. And the reason the Roe v. Wade decision was pushed forward is because of and this is what triggered this in my mind was AOC going, Well, we'll just move these clinics to federal land. Well, bitch, they used to be on federal land. They used to be on the Indian reservations because the Indians all qualified for welfare while they were a separated nation and they put the abortion clinics on the freaking Indian things and anybody who came in for an abortion also got sterilized. Can't manage your life, can't stop from getting pregnant, we're going to sterilize you. And it effectively killed 80% of the Indian population. And Roe v. Wade solidified the government's right to do that and if you guys will remember some of you guys that are older will remember in the 90s they don't show these stories anymore where judges tell welfare women I'm having your tubes tied you can't keep having kids and then filling out paperwork for welfare you're a crack mom I'm having you I'm having you neutered the uh, so that you quit having crack babies judges still do that they have that power that's what Roe v. Wade did. So when they talk about uh, the you know the rights that got taken away, they don't give a shit. If you guys, anybody that votes Democrat, hadn't figured out, they have never given a damn about anybody's individual rights. Nothing they do has ever improved somebody's rights. Nothing. I would love for somebody to tell me what law they passed that made things better, because it doesn't exist. The uh, it's a totalitarian party. It attracts that personality. It is the majority of the governments on the planet act the way the Democratic Party does. It's not like they're an oddball. Uh, it's just we had this one little country where we didn't want to do that, called the United States. Uh, and we thought, hey, we'll let everybody just decide for themselves whether or not we want the government to kill their children. And... For some reason, that's not working out for the for the leftist thinkers of the world. Uh, and there's the eugenics crowd that is like the worst religion on the planet, especially for uh, the environmentalism is now tied into that, right? Oh, people are the pollutant on the planet. And so eugenics is in there. And that's where the shot that of COVID turns in where they're not telling you the side effects. The side effects in women are sterilization and the side effects of men are a swollen heart until you have a heart attack. This is a population killer. The uh it's a slow it may be a slow death. No who knows how long the terms of side effects are. The uh oh the Roe v. Wade? Well it always was. Like I said the reason the power, you got to remember that when Roe v. Wade was put in place, the Democrats had all three chambers. They owned everything for like 45 years. They controlled all government. And then you got to dig back into the politics of the Democratic Party back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. 
get rid of these people. They're useless eaters. I mean, they, they, they had the thing called Operation Wetback. That's a democratic program. Let's get rid of these Mexicans. We, we shut down immigration for 30 years under the democratic control. Donald Trump tried to shut it down for 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 a, a two years so that we can get control on how fast people come in and say, hey, do you have a, a, a an education or a skill set we can actually use before you come to the United States? There are people all over the world begging to come to the United States. Uh, we can't build a pipeline because we don't have enough pipe fitters. You know what the Ukraine is loaded with? Pipe fitters. We locked them out of immigration starting in, in back back in the Clinton years. Couldn't get them guys to come in there. The, uh, you know what? I'm, guys, I'm going to keep talking while I walk all the way to the other side of the house. I'm interested whether or not the headset cuts out. So let me know. <clears throat> so a lot of this stuff keeps tying back to the Clintons. And Hillary Clinton stated she was a progressive and this is where a uh, Woodrow Wilson progressive and uh, as a Woodrow Wilson progressive, you know, I might have cut out when I got my head in the refrigerator. The uh, so Hillary Clinton said she was a Woodrow Wilson progressive and that didn't trigger anybody because Woodrow Wilson created all the programs to kill the mentally ill. The, uh, and then where you get where you lose uh, socialist socialist doesn't socialist is an economic system it's the wrong label leftist is the right label uh, we've got to learn the language because they constantly change the language on us now they, they've done it for a hundred years they, they just change the language so that everybody's confused about who you're talking about The uh, anybody that's that's rapidly thinks Trump's the worst thing that ever happened to somebody, but at the same time you got to break into his house and steal his passport. Look at that. We're just gonna. This room is now. Whoa, that's worse. Can I not figure out where I'm at? The um, there we go, there we go, there we go. I see what the problem is. I lean too far out of my light. Okay, so I redid the studio. You see, I got a light. I got a light in front of my face now. I got green lights actually pointed at the back. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. I, this is fun. I'll show you what all I did here. Uh, not done yet either. Not what I want to do. Uh, filters edit filters so what I done here we can think so there's that's a sheet on my back wall that it's a green sheet and then I've got actually green light pointed at the green sheet so that I can make this lovely little illusion here. The uh, you can buy kits off of Amazon that send you for like two hundred dollars. They send you a shiny green screen and a couple lights and things like that. And uh, I wanted a little bit more. One, I got an entire wall like a movie studio back here. So if I want to do stand up things and, you know, set up, I, I, I got more cameras that I haven't hooked up to the computer. Here. I'm debating whether or not to buy a new motherboard. Uh, the motherboard I decided to buy a year and a half ago, I can't find now. It just freaking doesn't exist. I wish I'd have bought it then. It was, that's a thousand dollars just for the motherboard. The, uh, it, it's, it was designed for doing the, what I'm doing here. But you can't find a studio thing. And we're having so internet issues. This ties into the politics thing. Then this is why I'm skipping around. So much information rolling around up here, right? You start tying all this crap together and you start rattling off like a lunatic. So I'm trying to set up the studio. 
Yeah, they, the, the narrative's constantly changing. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that you got to thank that the, the the press secretary for the president for for being such a liar, such a blatant liar that no one. I mean, even the the guys who are trying to cover for the Democrats went, "Oh my God, we cannot chase that rabbit," and say no one no one's that the people aren't walking across the border. The uh, the I failed to report that the rest of that news. The burden for the first time in a hundred and fifty years, these border towns have been Democrats since the dawn of since the Civil War, and Republicans are winning the things that there's only so much a citizen can take. Uh, every day, somebody it's and they're not talking about the rapes and the murders and everything else that's going on in there. And they hadn't been talking about the number of dead bodies that are now stacked up of immigrants dying. The uh, last year at this time, all of last year, 512 bodies they found crossing the Rio Grande, people who were dead. Uh, so far this year, we're at, at 750 dead people just laying on the banks. Uh, you know, so you're talking about the murder rate of a major, major city. Well, I can see my eyes just going. Grr. I wonder if that would help if I put my glasses on. Did I have my glasses in here? I got a pair. Of, I got these glasses. Helps that you can't see it. Ugh. My Maui, my Maui gems. I got Ray Bans for my prescription glasses. So I will have a dark set of glasses because you see this light in front of my face. It's it's actually giving me a headache. Uh. But I need it. But I'm going to have some green tinted Ray Bays. You guys know I, I got to have the green tint for my eyes. And uh, I'll, have some, I'll be wearing Ray Bans. And I have to keep explaining to people that I'm not trying to be some jackass cool guy on a freaking YouTube that they're prescription. The, uh, so, but the back, the number of bodies, they've overwhelmed. You know, they, they have to do an autopsy by law. There's not enough people to do the autopsies. They've overwhelmed the system. There's no more grave space to bury people that aren't claimed. I'm eating vitamin B12s here. Man, you want to treat... Where are these things? <laughs> these B12s, they're delicious. You can pick them up at Sam's Club. They're cheap-ish. But they're... uh eating the candy and it's like drinking a damn monster I just goofed that all up mm -hmm. get it to focus and then come back out of focus all right uh Deanna how you been Deanna I think you should look at my new age of apes game not my game but I'm going to do, I've, I've got 10 videos already recorded on the Age of Apes. Well, my uh, my painkillers make me tired all the time. So I keep these things around. i got a bottle of these in here. i got a bottle in the kitchen. And then I come by and I eat four or five of them. You know, it, sometimes when I'm wanting a snack. Well, I, I, I've lived down here on the border. Uh, I grew up in Kansas from fourth grade to high school okay prior to fourth grade i lived in the border towns i went my kindergarten year was in juarez uh and i don't speak spanish still to this day i don't speak spanish of all the languages that i've picked up over the years for some reason i just refuse to speak spanish my brain will not get around. i can hear i understand them i know when they're talking about me and i know what they're saying I just can't speak it. I cannot get that trigger to execute more than a few words. Uh, I can get by, and that's about it. But I, I can't do it fluently, and I should be able to. Part of the reason is I'm a hermit. Uh, so any of the languages that I picked up, you know, I, I used to do some Thai, um, Tagali. Uh, I knew all kinds of ways to threaten somebody in Arabic. The... Uh, the I had an African guide 
Uh, I could speak a little, I could speak, uh, you know, you know, about 50, 60 phrases of his language. Yeah. From the VA. Uh, my glasses are from the VA doctor, but they are Ray-Bans. The, uh, I paid $104 to get Ray-Bans. The VA covered some of it. It didn't cost me $280 for prescription Ray-Bans. The, uh, and we're going to discuss, like my Maui Gems, I've had my Maui Gems. If you guys have never owned a pair of Maui Gems, if you ever want to buy a pair of sunglasses that is stupidly expensive, uh, and I would go directly to the manufacturer and pay full retail so that you don't get scammed. Come on, focus. This ain't working for me. The light, <coughs> the stand for the light is directly behind the camera instead of being above the camera like it should be. Uh, I haven't figured out how I'm going to deal with that yet. That light should be on... I don't want to show it to you because it makes the camera go out of focus again. But I got a, a studio board here that's, that I should be able to control the light up and down, dim it, change the color, things like that. The uh, And uh, it's not plugged in yet because have, I'm having a USB problem. That's why I'm sitting there going, oh, do I need new power supplies? Do I need new motherboards? Uh, what's going on with my power stuff? Uh, all that costs money. And it's been one of those months where we just, like I said, I bought a new dishwasher. It was like 1100 bucks, And then we've taken the dog and the cat. Uh, the dog had surgery. The cat had two surgeries. Uh, <laughs> and I said, oh, my gosh, you got a dog and a cat that live together. And I said, you know, my thinking is, is cats, they give them damn things away for free. How much? Is... My cat's got cancer. I'm surprised he hadn't come in here yet. For some reason, he this room has been locked up for nine years. And that cat has walked down this hall every day for nine years, patrol in his little, you know, cats do their little territorial patrol. Boy, I guess it's been bugging him for nine years. Because he has been in here, and he might be hiding in here now. The, uh, I've locked him in here twice because he thinks it's his room. The, uh, but I've had that cat forever. He was just one my wife found on the side of the road. It was chasing a grasshopper as a kitten on the side of the road. She was heading to duty weekend in Lubbock, pulled over, grabbed him, drove him back, and said, oh, here's a new kitten. And he had a big old cut on his face, which he's now got another cut on his face in the same spot that he had before. This time they removed a cancer off of him. So that'll be the last time he goes to surgery because if the cancer comes back, which it's gonna, the doctor pretty much said it will, he will just be too expensive. He's not going into chemo. It's an option for pets, as I was informed. I'm like, they give kitties away for free. <laughs> that cat's had a good long life. He's 15 years old. He can, he's, he's moved with us three times in the fat, last 15 years. He ain't run away. I don't keep him in the house. He's not a not a real. He's kind of a house cat now, just because he's gotten old. But he's spoilt. Yeah, uh, damn welfare recipient's what he is. Got to feed him. Got to clothe it. Got got to feed him. You know, give him housing. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird on the V8 thing because you can get two pairs of the glasses they approve. For free. And because I got to be on film. I said you know what. I did this last time. I don't know where they're at. The, uh, but I got the BCD type glasses. The birth control devices. The, uh, which I don't think look bad. But that just may be. Because I've seen so many people wearing them. For years and years in the military. That you know. They were free. You could get them. And you didn't care if you broke them. Them type of things. Uh, <clears throat> but the 
this is going to be such a this is such an overwhelming wave election the ability to fraud is going to be very very hard and not get caught and the reason I think they're out there telling everybody that the right wingers are a bunch of terrorists who won't acknowledge an election is they already know that in a few states they need to commit some frauds my state being one of them I'm getting messages on my phone we need your support to change the Constitution of New Mexico so that the funding for the schools is is for is embedded in the Constitution and I'm like texting back to the person are you fucking insane are you telling me that my democratic controlled Congress my democratic controlled Senate in the state and my democratic governor somehow are not giving the you teachers unions enough money or are you telling me that you already know that the governor might switch to the weatherman <laughs> uh, Mark Ronchetti personal friend of mine the uh, He's, he's the he used to work the local radio station down here and 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 broadcast football games <laughs> that's that's when i met him when he was younger now he, I, I can't believe you know he was he's younger than me and he's, he's pretty much i think he's going to be the next governor unless there's committed fraud there but we've been doing these write-in ballots and the supreme court turned around and says whoa now that the emergency's over and the supreme court declared the emergency over you cannot be doing these write-in ballots uh, and they also declared and in four states you should have never done them because you changed the law after people started voting uh, you have to, you gotta set yeah everybody has to play by the same set of rules but unless you're losing right the uh, a system that no one ever heard of apparently got Two and a half million people to jump into that system immediately and overnight. Sounds to me like Democrats got no problems getting people to the polls. If you can switch their voting system, in days and get a massive response, which is what you're telling us to happen, then I don't see a problem. Apparently, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Last minute, doesn't matter. Uh, they don't understand that they keep proving themselves to be fraudulent because the 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 heaping shovel loads of shit you gotta swallow to believe what's coming out of their mouth is getting deeper and deeper and more ripe. Uh, now it's just getting belligerent. The uh, you know my fights with the VA have gotten belligerent. They sent people with guns to my house because they lost an argument. And when I went down to the emergency room and they called my primary care at the VA, the primary, the person on the phone, not my primary care, oh, we've taken care of his medications. We think this might be drug-seeking activity. Well, it's kind of hard to have drug-seeking activity if you've never had a drug. The uh, asking that question, and, and all, I ha all I can do down in the emergency room is, can you write down exactly what it is they told you on the phone? They did. It's on my medical report. Now it's in my medical record. Then we can go back and say, where are these drugs that you told these people over the phone that you issued me? Because when they sent the people over to my house with guns, it was over the fact that they hadn't issued the drugs as they were required to. I, I really think there is a deeply religious eugenics faction in the United States that has never gone away and it is deeply embedded inside the Democratic Party. And what we see as socialism and leftism and what we consider politics of money is there are zealots who believe that the world population needs to get down to 5 million people. They carve it in stone. They've been around for hundreds of years. This is a long religious fact. And people like that have got to seek and find power somewhere. And I think they rewrap, they rebrand, and they reword things to where people says, oh, that sounds good. Oh, my God, let's go save some polar bears. There are more polar bears now than there were 25 years ago. <clears throat> when Al Gore made his movie, there were so many polar bears 
that an Alaskan family was allowed to kill two polar bears a year for dog food. That's how many polar bears there were. But Al Gore made a movie and said, oh my God, they're dying because the ice is melting. Meanwhile, you're watching freaking Deadliest Catch on Tuesday nights. We've got to run from the ice. The ice pack's chasing us down. The ice keeps coming further and further every year, faster and faster every year. So the ice isn't melting, it's growing. You're watching that on a live reality show. But every single leftist that comes out to tell you the science is, oh, the ice is melting. The uh, Where the ice is melting should be the question. Because there is a truth to the ice is melting. It's in Antarctica. Antarctica is a land mass. If all the ice in the North Pole melted tomorrow, the sea levels would go down, not up. Because it's a floating ice shelf. But there's a great big shelf of ice that forms over the course of, we don't know, it appears to be over the course of about six to 8,000 years. Uh, when you start tying in biblical references to massive floods and uh, geological events and everything else, all the stuff is coming together as our science gets better you got to ignore the science that came out of the 70s and start looking at what's happening today with science uh, and ignore the people who are trying to ask you for money uh, as part of the science. But underneath Antarctica, there is water forming between the land and the ice uh, because the land is warmer. There's volcanoes under Antarctica and the land is warmer than freezing. And so this water level keeps moving further and further and further. And at some point, it is that piece of ice is literally floating on water versus sitting on land, constantly freezing. And the weight gets worse and worse and worse. And, and as the, you know, the ice is, what, 300 feet thick or something like that. So lots and lots and lots of weight. You're talking about millions and millions of metric tons of pressure. Pressure itself creates heat. And the thinking is, quite frankly, if that shelf breaks off, and it's like a third of Antarctica right now is what they're thinking, uh, then that piece of ice will then add to the waters. Climate control is like, well, no. Climate control isn't a hoax. It's just normal. <laughs> Climate Climate control for your pocketbook's a hoax. The uh, whether whether or not it's getting warmer or colder outside, 50-year cycles. Uh, there's a thing called the Farmer's Almanac, been written for 500 years. It's dead on. You can go back and look at it. They knew what was going to happen next year. Yet today's science models using a computer can't predict what happened last year. <clears throat> there's there's the hoax. The people that are showing you pretty graphic charts on TV saying we need to turn around and tax you and we need to control what you drive and how you drive and who you buy it from. There's the hoax. The, uh, oh, wow, we'll, we'll dip into that, right? California banning all cars that aren't electric. I really want to get into this topic because it's not the first time California passed this law. In 1997? There was a car called the EV1. They built 6,000 of them, all electric cars. You couldn't buy one from General Motors. They gave them to every movie star to try and start educating the public that electric car technology was coming but wasn't ready. The damn things went about 90 miles on a charge. And every single person would go on Letterman and... Uh, uh, Jay Leno, and, and they would always be asked, how do you like driving your EV1? Because Jay Leno, being a good car one, he has. Jay Leno is one of the few people who still has an EV1. Because California passed a law and said, in so many years, all cars will be zero emissions. Blah, 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 blah. The same law they just passed. General Motors sued its own freaking car, went around with a tow truck, and took them all back and crush them. There are two in museums. I think Jay Leno has one. Uh, 
I know he had a car. I don't know if he has one of the museum cars. I think he has one of the museum cars, or he did and sold it. Uh, they had to, because the practicality was, you can't, we couldn't make, they couldn't make enough cars. GM had spent a billion dollars making these 6,000 electric cars to try and just, just get the thought in people's minds that one day we might be able to do this. And uh, they had to sue it all. Depends on where they melt, Diana. If they melt in the North Pole, it would lower because ice is more volume than water. When an ice cube freezes, <clears throat> it expands. So it's displacing water, which raises the sea levels. That's the North Pole because it's floating, right? Uh, on the South Pole, that 300 feet of ice is sitting on top of land. So if it breaks off and melts, it will cause the sea levels to rise. And it appears that that is probably what is the historical text for floods, for both geological and biblical. Uh, the, uh, the, the tie-in for things like, you know, you get into the Noah's Ark portion of it, of the Bible, with where he started building. There's a big hoo-ha whether or not you know, people were living three, four hundred years at a time back then. The, uh, you watch the ancient alien guys and they think that's because there was just aliens on the planet at the time. Uh, which, I don't know how you get wrapped around the fact that it just left. They just left, that there were wars, and all the texts there was war wars. I don't think there were aliens. The, uh, I do believe that we lost the technological age. I, I will concede to that. We lost an entire technological age probably six to 8,000 years ago. Uh, that, that, that something happened. The uh, Iran itself, the, the background radiation in Iran shows that nuclear bombs and lots and lots and lots of them went off a thousand years ago. And that's some of the more dedicated you know, half-life rate to prove that something happened. Uh, that literally Iran must have had like 40 nuclear weapons go off more than 8,000 years ago. Their background rate, we're allowed 5 millirads of background radiation in the United States, and their background radiation for sitting in their living rooms a 1,000 millirads. And oddly, they have the longest life expectancy on the planet. Yeah, radiation does not mean bad, and it doesn't mean mutants are coming. The Iranians have not created a Hulk. The, uh, the information you get from your local leftists is, is usually not very good. I'm, is the la internet lagging on my, my side or your side? I, I can expect my internet being bad. We're having issues where I'm on my fourth internet company in... Uh, in the last four months uh, until I finally started getting to where we were talking with at the level all the phone companies started restricting people to 500 gigs a month which is not even 1080p watching app stuff uh, basically all this anti anti business actions that have been taking place people left work <laughs> went home with their high-speed bandwidth and started remote businesses. And while they were working remotely for other companies, they started a side business. They weren't, it, they weren't working enough at their job. But so when they got home, they're like, you know, I got time to do other stuff and other stuff that makes me money. So they started side businesses. And now, without telling anybody, all three of the major bandwidth carriers in the United States now double check your internet if you go over five five gig a month. And for a guy like me that was running crypto, as soon as they checked it, they threw away. California doesn't have a power grid. They've got one nuclear plant left. They just had to extend the life five years. In order to meet the requirement of the law, they would have to build 20 
nuclear plants, the, the largest in the country nuclear plants, 20 of them in 15 years, it takes 20 years to build one plant. Somebody over there needs to get that governor out of crayon and explain to him how math works. <laughs> Sir, it'll take us 20 years to build the nuclear plants. Uh, it'll take us 85 years, and we'd have to have a state the size of Nevada full of solar panel power to, to do solar. And the battery doesn't exist. And I hate to solve the problem for them, but the batteries do exist. A battery is a storage of potential. It is not a lead acid thing that you buy from China. You got Hoover Dam, which generates electricity. All you have to do is put solar panels downstream and pump the water back upstream. You can then stop having this, oh, it's a drought issue, and start acknowledging if we don't have enough water, we need to solve the water problem. Oh, we'll get into that for California. That happened too. Your tomatoes are about to go up because of because of the silvery minnow. <clears throat> I actually got in this discussion with the congressman uh, Monday because I asked some questions and everybody went, "I don't know." We'll find out, and I'll I'll get into the portion of the discussion we had with the congressman on that one. The uh. Yeah, they can try, but see, they import it, right? They, all they're doing, and, and this was explained to everybody a long time ago about the electric cars. Is, is, it's not that you don't have a tailpipe. It's just a very long tailpipe that somewhere else. Uh, I hate the way everybody argues that it's, oh, well, now, you're, now your uh, battery-powered car is coal-powered. No, that's just not true. Uh, you know... <laughs> The, uh, we don't have that many coal power plants. Yes, Obama pretty much made it so that the air coming out of them had to be cleaner what got sucked to them just like diesel engines uh, in an effort to shut them down. But that case just went through the Supreme Court uh, two months ago. I, I track, especially like diesel trucks, the, the diesel particulate filter and the uh, fluid that goes in the diesels because now I got this diesel powered Jeep. And so I started tracking the laws on that stuff uh, because you drive through certain states and they find out you've modified your exhaust on your vehicle. They'll tow your vehicle and then charge you $5,000 at the Democratic em, 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 uh, embraced mechanic to put all your exhaust stuff back, right? The. Uh, Hey, people need to look at why he's getting voted in. Uh, in the last election, in California, Republicans won 34 seats. In all 34 races that the Republican won, they found ballots and flipped the race to the Democrat. All 34. But don't worry. They never find Republican ballots. They always find Democrat ballots. That should just be one of those clues that maybe we shouldn't be accepting any ballots after the deadline. The, uh, the, so you got the tomato thing, right? The valley and the valley that, that they grow and it's a processed tomato. It's not like a tomato, what you'd buy, you know, when you go in to buy tomatoes and make, put on your hamburgers it's a processed tomato uh i didn't know the numbers on this until i saw it but uh 85 percent of the world's processed tomatoes of the world's processed tomatoes comes out of the northern valley of california so if it's in a tomato in a can for making tomato sauces pecani sauces things like that 85 percent of the world's tomatoes come out of that valley well the leftist loonies won't let them have any water because it endangers a silvery minnow. Yeah, 30% of your power for California? It's way more than that. 
Yeah, you're you're way more than that for for power out of state. You're getting power from nine different states. It's huge. Yeah, that somebody somebody locally is feeding you a wrong number, I think. Uh but the silver and minnow thing, so they, they they shut down this valley for the silver and minnow. And that's because that valley is so rich it can grow anything you need to pretty quickly. I mean, we fed a, a two billion Chinese in the seventies out of that valley. And I think that's why they targeted it. Is that one valley has just like the most perfect system for growing food. Uh the land is so rich. <clears throat> the weather's so seventy degrees year round. You can just you get really long growing seasons out of it, so the food production is really high. Out of the silver minnow, and uh, so I'm talking to the congressman, and he says, "Well, it's an endangered fish, and there's nothing we can do about that." And I said, "Endangered? How? Well, it's the only place that we know the silver minnow exists." I said, "Minnows, you throw them in a fish tank, and two minnows become two thousand minnows within a week." Are you telling me these minnows don't breed? Well, no. I said, are you telling me the species is on the verge of death if we don't just breed them and put them in other streams? What if I turn around and went and captured a whole bunch of these minnows, bred them, and put them in a bunch of streams? Put them in ponds and everything else. What if I spread them all over the place? What if I put them in an aquarium so that we always knew where they were? Hell, you can freeze fish. My sister did when we were kids. Got so cold in the house. We used to have a wood stove. And her back room used to get so cold that her fish froze in the bowl. She just put the bowl in the freezer and waited till spring. Then thawed it out. Started swimming. The, uh, the Roma tomato. Yes, there you go. Ballot harvesting is... Ballot harvesting implies that there was really a ballot to harvest. Uh, again, we got to watch our language. The, uh, you know, one person's got 10,000. You, you, you're, you're asking people to overcome the work ethic problem that we have. I can't get a kid to mow my lawn. You're telling me you have somebody running around grabbing 10,000 ballots? Where are these really hard workers working for minimum wage? Because last I knew, most campaigns get sued for not even paying minimum wage or the expected wage. Well, I think we should have $15 an hour wages, says the person paying his staff 10. That kind of crap. The uh and then they expect you to believe that they went and they 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 went out there and hard work door to door out in the hot sun all day and you start doing some some math of let's say that a person walks and knocks and then waits for a ballot to be filled out, and they get every door. In an eight-hour day, 41 people is about all they're going to get because it takes time to walk from door to door. It takes time to fill out the application. Let's say that person is superhuman, and they're running to the next door, and they're going, bitch, please, I'll fill it out for you. Just shout me the information so I can do it twice as fast. So they're getting 82 to 85 ballots a day. These super workers working for below the, the wage standard. The uh, 82 a day during an election cycle. That's only 500. Uh, it's less than 500 per week. Per person. Now go over your millions. There just wasn't, with the most epic math ever, you couldn't harvest that many ballots. Not with the size of these campaigns. It's not possible. They, they're, they're, There's an auto pen somewhere out there writing these things down. <clears throat> oh, on the power, yeah, that, that no, your, your power grid, I think you're only, you're producing... Here's the thing for the California power grid. They will say you're making 15% from solar. You're making 15% of your energy consumption for five hours a day. Not 15% of total. So the solar plant that's inside the state of California 
is not make they they use the best possible math they can use for five hours a day when the solar works uh because you, you the minute you create it you got to use it all right so they turn down the other states send them electricity for five hours a day and they use their solar uh you own that is only 15 percent of usage the when you do it on a 24-hour average like you really should be talking or a 30-day average uh you know day average days of sunlight type of things that we have to do in a real world because i'm trying to put solar in here so i have to know what my average day of, sol of, of light is because i only get five hours a day of salt light and sometimes there's clouds out and yada 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 how long do my batteries have to be and how big do my batteries have to be to compensate for that uh <coughs> So I get deep into this math. So you're, you're talking about the 15% is really 3%. Uh, then they get into the natural gas, the transmission, and then they, you got the same problems with the stuff you get from Nevada, from the Hoover Dam, in that the minute the water runs low, they have to stop sending power from the Hoover Dam you got to go lean on natural gas again. You're not getting through this. There's, because no one has turned around and said, let's put some windmills and generators downstream, pump the water back up so that the free energy of gravity falling down a dam keeps running 24-7. Because you can overfill the dam. You can fill the dam up, and it doesn't. it's not going to empty out overnight. It's just not going to. You know, so when the when the wind's still blowing and the sun's still shining for five hours, you just put enough solar panels downstream to make sure the water's always full. And that type of system you can put damn near anywhere. It doesn't have to be in a humongously flowing river. You just need a river to make sure that there's water available. You can start putting that kind of, of, of production plant all over the place. And it's it's better for the fish. The lakes you have to create, it gets in the Fourth Amendment, right? You're going to have to take people's property away to, to flood it underwater like they did in the Tennessees in the 30s. But that's where a lot of the anti-hydro uh, stuff comes from. But the anti-hydro people are the, are the nuttiest nutbag environmentalists there are. They have probably set us back 50 years when... We could have built really kick-ass hydro plants and had enough of them and had them in enough diverse places to where somebody would say, you know, we don't have that much pressure here. Can we get more efficient turbines? And then once they invent a more efficient turbine to solve a problem of water pressure because they don't have enough land to create more water pressure, they say, well, we got these more efficient turbines. Let's put them in all the dams, right? That kind of crap. Uh, or you could wait. Mike, the Chinese are going to save you. Because the Chinese <laughs> are <coughs> building a solar plant on the moon. And they're going to beam the electricity back to Earth. And there are people who believe that this isn't the first time this happened. That the supposed super secret structures on the dark side of the moon might have been our technological loss civilization. There's a lot, there's a big cult out there that believes that the pyramids were part of an electricity transmission network but there's no tech to support it. The only tech there is to support was that a pharaoh's sarcophagus is built that when the body rots, the sarcophagus actually produces electricity like a battery. And no one knows if that was on purpose or the uh, or just incidental. We do know that ancient Egypt had batteries. They understood battery technology. Uh, what no, no one, we know they have batteries, but what no one knows is what were they battery, what were they using the battery power for? 
No one knows that. That's every, everything else is hyperbole. I like watching these archaeologists just make shit up on TV. That that's hilarious to me. I'm like, you've got no facts based on what you just said out loud. You just said it. The, <laughs> and it's okay not to know. Why why not look at the camera and says, We just don't know yet. You know, it could be something crazy, it could be something normal. We just don't know. Can I get a fact, please? Can I buy a vow to fill in this puzzle? The um they just passed it. Yeah, the twenty two dollar hour the McDonald's wage. That's not true, Mike. McDonald's is probably, and this is where McDonald's is not telling the full truth. McDonald's has been one of the major investors. Right now, there are robots cooking fries inside McDonald's restaurants because the fry people are the hardest ones to get because you're over the grease fat all day long. Uh, and quite frankly, they just don't get it right. And then... They are about to start robotically making all the food. The whole kitchen is going to go to robots, and uh, they're going to they're going to stack it, pack it, bag it, and drop it out the window to you like a vending machine. That's just the way it's going to go. There, you you don't you won't need the square face. There, the 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 pull up park use the app portion. Now they know how many people will pull up. And just, or it will use an app, order their food, pull up, use a barcode, and get their food to drop out a window. A person's handing it to you now, but they won't be for long. Not at 22 bucks an hour. Let's let's do some math. All right. I love this. I love those arguments. I, you know, is there any chance I'm still streaming? I, it looks like I'm still streaming. Guys, can you still hear me? Can you talk to the text? I hit the power button, not the calculator button on my keyboard. <coughs> okay. There are 2,080 work hours. You know, here's some math that people don't know. So every month, you as a worker work on a four-hour week. It comes out to an average of 166.6 times $22 an hour. $3,665 is the gross wages of that McDonald's employee's full-time employee. Okay. So, $3,665 for a McDonald's for a kid. Times 12. $43,000 a year. Good luck getting your kid to go to college. The, uh... Good luck to your kid ever getting this McDonald's job because an illegal immigrant is going to take this freaking job. My McDonald's is full of people who are not legal citizens who got their green card at the border handed to them. <laughs> I'll still call them illegal. They're, they're legally, they have legal status and they can work here. <laughs> Half the people handing me my food do not speak English. I, and, and I know enough Spanish to know they don't even speak good Spanish. The, uh, so $43,000 a year. Mm -hmm. You can bet your ass mom and dad will be working down at McDonald's pulling in $86,000 a year. All right. That's what this is going to happen. But it's, it's the wet dream of the liberals who passed the law. They sat down with their calculator and figured all this stuff out. Well, let me tell you something. The fry robot only cost a hundred and ten thousand dollars you don't have to pay that forty three thousand dollars that doesn't include health care that doesn't include social security tax at thirteen and a half percent so i'm going to take that times one point one three just paying your social security tax the burden is now up to fifty thousand dollars per employee and that's just one of the taxes. And everybody knows Social Security is not the biggest tax on your check. FICA is, right? Uh, I can. And then you got California and everything. And the California law 
it, it's uh, between your state tax and your federal tax, I think they're at 58% taxation, all right? So there's their there's their fifty thousand dollars. So times one point five eight seventy eight thousand dollars. When you start making fry robots, and the look, the guy who invented them wants a quarter million dollars a piece. But the reality is, when he says when McDonald says I need I need uh, uh, fifty thousand of these, they're gonna drop down to four thousand dollars a piece. They're not complicated. And if the guy who invented it really wants to get crazy and be an asshole, try to get as much money as he possibly can because he's watched way too much TV or his liberal college professor told him, milk them for all they're worth. They're the evil corporations. I guarantee you McDonald's is going to build their own brand. You know how I know this? They did it with their ice cream machines. The ice cream machines that are always broke, the guy who invented them had a contract. McDonald's circumvented the contract. And now owners of the franchises are going out and buying ice cream machines from a third-party vendor that actually work better. The uh, They've already done this with their ice cream machines. Ain't nobody back there is whipping up the ice cream for you no more. The, uh, man, my screens went black when I pushed that button. It said, shutting down. <laughs> Asked me to log back. You know, and I, I had to push the, and my, my computer went down. All the fans shut down. I, the thing was still live streaming while it was supposedly off. Figure that one out. <clears throat> Every fan shut off on that computer when I hit the wrong button. So you're at $78,000 for that $22 an hour is the burden on the company is at $78,000. And that's before whatever other regulational burden invo involving employee safety and, you know, you start adding in that cost and the, the numbers go up, right? The uh, <laughs> yeah, this my computer went Skynet on my ass. The uh, yeah, so two year salary, and, and like I said, this doesn't even cover the healthcare costs, I didn't even incorporate that. The uh, and you also got to realize that under that wage, no one's poor, you don't hit the I am on the poverty line and therefore the federal government gives me a shitload of free money that they call a rebate only you didn't pay them any money when you're under thirty one thousand dollars a year you're impoverished and federal government so the federal government gives money to the workers of california on average between twelve and eighteen thousand dollars a year that is money coming into the state of California that it didn't have to make. It's just there and being spent. When the McDonald's employees go to this big $50,000, $43,000 on their check, that number puts them above what the Democrats consider tax the rich. Everybody, if you ever done the math on a tax the rich plan, Everybody above $40,000 is a rich motherfucker and needs to pay. Your, McDonald, your McDonald's employees are about to become one percenters. You want to see people become in depth in tax law? <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to be able to deduct my shoes. Nope. We took all them deductions away, folks. You need... Uh, it used to be 12000 Now it's twenty. You need to have, you have a standardized deduction of $20,000 now per person. And so in order to go to deduct things off your taxes, you have to spend more than $20,000 per year to overcome the standardized deduction. <laughs> so when you hear people say, oh, I'll just deduct off my taxes. Well, you better be spending more than $20,000 a year. And then remember, you spend it. I always kind of laugh at people who go, well, you know, I'm going to go out and get a mortgage, but I get to take that off my taxes. Do you? Do you really? Only if you're spending 
$20,000 a year on your mortgage. And you're talking about what, $1,800 a month mortgage payment? The, uh, and then you break even. So if you got a $2,000 a month mortgage payment, then you get to deduct a little bit off your taxes. And the reality of that math is you're deducting what you paid in interest. So you paid a dollar to the bank to get 34 cents back from the government. You're still down 66 cents. You lost 66 cents in interest. The uh, and those are those are in the Discord room when we talked about this. Like the, it was like man, we went out and bought that eighty thousand dollar Jeep. And I, I this is one of the things where I had to sit down and talk to my wife. Says look, we don't buy this Jeep now, and you're screwed. We're not buying a new vehicle in the next three years. The uh, and her mom wants a brand new Mustang with a V8 in it. Well, they've gone up fifteen thousand dollars while she waited three months to get her mind right on what color she wanted. The interest rates are now up three and a half percent, and that's a lot of money. The uh, the so yeah, we bought an eighty thousand dollar diesel powered Jeep that right now I think we could sell it for ninety four thousand. And we just rolled 20,000 miles up on it. It's already worth more money than we bought it for. You get California banning. Uh, and they're going to enact the first phase of this. You can bet your ass they are. Uh, phase one in five years, you gotta you got to reach these goals. They're going to try and reach that goal. They won't care how much fossil fuel it takes to reach goal number one. Uh, they're going to they're gonna do that by force. Because they, they don't, and I can't disagree with some portions of the philosophy behind it, that until you force people to, until there's a need, there's no uh, movement forward. Need is the, you know, the mother, is the whew, motherhood of, need is the motherhood, the mother of invention, right? Well, now there's a need for power in California. <clears throat> you can bet that a couple of those bordering states or a state over are going, if California sticks to this and everybody sticks to these laws going into that first round of where 35% of the cars, what's that, 17 states have to follow that law? We're just talking about California's power requirement being absurd. They're not the only ones. Uh, the Northeast has an energy grid that is a absolute freaking disaster, and California didn't ask didn't ask Canada if it was okay if we overburden their energy grid, which is where the Northeast gets a whole crap load of its electricity from, is Canada, and it's a failing infrastructure. It crashes a lot, especially during the winter. That's why a lot of people still stick to what they call heating fuel, but it's diesel, which, I don't know if you guys notice, stupidly expensive. No one can pre-buy diesel or heating fuel for their winter right now. <clears throat> I would say if you're one of these people that, that's, that's trying to plan the moment in which to buy your heating fuel for the winter, mass buy it for the whole winter, 10 days before the election, I wouldn't wait any longer than that. Cut your deal. Sorry, just got. Just G O R. Got O. Raphael, I don't know what G R means. Wait, are you insulting me? What are you implying? Yeah, so the. A lot of this affects the gaming. This is one of the reasons I'm in these topics. You know, everybody acts like, acts like it's off topic. It's not off topic. Uh, phone games are convenient, and phones don't require squat to charge or power up. They're dumb devices with pretty interfaces, is what they are. Uh, where am I moving? I don't know. I can't even log in to look at the move 
thing, uh, we never did go back to that, did we? <coughs> Let me do that again. Hold on. Live GOG. Let me do this. There was my calculator doing math for everybody. Uh, I was having an issue while trying to find it. We were going to do that. I don't know. Diana, what kingdom are you in? You're in like 492 or something like that. While I get this launched. Man, my deck sometimes crashes. Uh, close the screen one. See, now you can't see my decks because my decks does this weird damn thing. Where I've got to enter it twice. All right, hold on. Oh, that would be the problem. Wrong plug. Remember, I took it off because the battery was slow charging. There we go. Uh, we never figured out. My move stuff. I didn't see it. So you guys can help me with that. All right. A little run gun use by remote control. I really wanted to get into the politics of it. It was like a crazy week. We, uh, for those who follow me on LinkedIn, you would know why I talk to congressmen and senators and governors and past governors. I have like 1,600 politicians who follow what I say on LinkedIn. A lot of it's in private groups, but uh, sometimes what I didn't do privately was I went after the VFW very publicly in the last couple in the last two months i went right at their throats and uh <laughs> i picked up a whole bunch of new followers when i did that because everybody's been ignoring what's what that the left has taken control of some of the damn military groups which i've known about for years but when i started pointing out just the absolute asinine oops that's not it There we go. Uh, now I can't read that. Let's see if I can read it now. I'm at 707, started in Kingdom 345. Uh, 70, I think it's 707. Is dead, and I have a few feelings that the higher kingdoms after 500 or so tended to get short lives okay because they rolled all the guard cards that you get easily so if you're prior to kingdom 570 and were an active player you basically got your guards for free except for the stuff that's come out since then but then you're only building up one or two guards here and there very slowly, right? Uh, then they've added in the... So, man... Help me out, guys. Where do I go look at the migration thing? Let me get you in a pop out here. Tell me where to click. Because I'm not seeing it. I was told the War Aid Center, upper right-hand corner, but I don't see that. I don't see anything on my screen. Hold on. Here's a good question. Do I need to update my freaking GOG system? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I got these Gideons that are hitting me and are killing all my troops in the hits because it's like T1s, T2s. And so every time I get a doctor's concern, so I've got like gobs of teleports just racked up from these guys acting like they can, thinking they're hurting me when basically they're handing me 2,000 gold every time. <laughs> if I ever go somewhere else or I decide I'm just going to turn around and go nightmare, it's going to be all of the sh free shit I got from them hitting me that's going to make me kick the living crap out of these guys. All right, update announcement for 725. Do I have 725? Collect. This war reward has expired. Coming soon, 725. And I collected it, so I put that in there already. How did I not get the... Hold on. Let's take this down. And let's go to the Play Store. Here's a good question. Is this thing on the Wi-Fi? It is. All right. And then let's type in Guns of Glory. Says I got the latest version. All right. So that's not my problem. Okay. It has its own icon, but top right. In the uh, pirate chest. Oh my freaking god! You know what he should have said? What he didn't type it, but I think he meant is right under that. And my eyesight's so bad, I am tunnel vision focused. Uh, status not started to end. And so, what's your kingdom there, Diana? What is it? Was a you were like four nine two or five nine two or something like that. Uh, five nine two. Let's enter that in. Oops. The kingdom is not on the list. Oh, nobody can move to 592. Is that what that means? So the most promoted kingdom in the game, no one's allowed to move here? <laughs> That's how petty these people are. You're, oh, you're in 747? That'd be funny. If they let me move my castle one of the newer kingdoms, I don't... I, wouldn't think they'd allow that. I I wouldn't even be a very powerful castle there, to be honest. Looks like 600 is as new as I can go here. My rank in, in Sinking Kingdom 600 would be 89. What's the overview? Uh, I don't know what this means. So I would I would be an elite lord in the 200s in any place that I went. So it looks like I could go just about. You know what? Let me let me let me let me look at 362. Is 362 on that list? I actually would like to go back to 362. Just stomp the crap out of HEH once in a while. As we showed earlier, they literally keep looking for me no i can't even jump that far so i can't jump back to 362 <laughs> the uh what i ought to do is take a picture of my ass so they can put it on their dartboard because that's really what they're doing it makes no sense the um i look i did it to them last year they were they were doing they were doing better they were they were starting to go up in revenue when I was teaching again, literally a year ago. And then, when I saw the Excel spreadsheet hack, 
where they were literally handing out the back door, cheating between the kingdoms, finding out who had resources. They were hacking in the accounts that hadn't been logged into for a while. And I saw that whole deal uh, as part of our negotiation stuff with it. I told them I had that, that they needed to fix that problem or I was going to cost them money. And I went on a bi-weekly do not play this game and they lost $100 million in one quarter. They really, really, truly should have took it as to understanding I control their market. Stop fucking with me. For a country that loves totalitarian and loves one, one, one person rule, they need to understand I rule their market. End of story. The uh, And I'm not playing nice with them anymore. Never really did play all that nice with them, but the uh, I also didn't need anything from them. So there's that. The, uh, look at this. We're getting a bunch of people coming in there. So the migration stuff. I'm assuming these are all the kingdoms that I can go to. Was it 439? That's one that's got a lot. I don't know. Uh, this would be a good discussion where we could have brought in Turtle. Because she's got a 400 kingdom. The uh, And for people that were wanting a place to play, she should be promoting that. The uh, Pedro! Hola! No tiene carrete? The, uh, man, I have got so many Spanish speaking people on it, this game is very, very popular in Mexico. Uh, and there's some of the rudest comments that I get is from the Mexican people, not attacking me, but just an absolute demand if I don't get the translations up in time for them. Like, I hate to tell you guys, but I speak English, uh, and translations cost me money. And at the end of the day, I've already done the math. <laughs> I haven't made back one penny of the money that I spent translating to Spanish. So, yeah, there's that. I'm making money overall, but it's not being smart. Four hundred one to six hundred. That one that I'm looking at, is there a way to look at a different one? I didn't put this in. So, 362. Overview. See, it still shows me the four to six hundreds. Yeah, the uh, I don't know of too much in the four to six hundred I'd want to play on a regular basis. I'd rather be in a newer kingdom. <coughs> the uh, honestly, with the way they got the power structure worked out, trying to make sure nobody can jump over and be stupidly powerful, there's no reason not to let me jump to a new kingdom. So I have to choose somewhere between four and six hundred. And no one's allowed to choose five nine two. Literally, five nine three skips over it, five nine one. I'm looking for another skip. I wonder if they skip 533. I have an entire farm system in Kingdom 533, guys. Uh, holy shit. Arkin had like 30 farms in 533. Uh, we set up a whole bot system for him to farm back in the day. 
that's probably lost. But no, 533 is on the list. So. But I don't know why I'd want to go back there. The uh, That was one of the places where the trolls came in without asking. And we dealt with the trolls. And we dealt with the Russians. And it was nothing but kickback. Honestly, once you start killing their market, they start killing the kingdom. Okay, so what I found out as a gamer is we came in with a team and we came in as guardians of a new kingdom and kept the bullshit and the trolls and the uh, RSS salesmen just literally run them out of the kingdom. Earlier. Once you do that, they do nothing but cause uh, drama and harassment at that point. And they run fake bots and fake chats. And uh, hell, the Lost King in 592 has got four different people who log into that account. One of them cannot speak any English whatsoever. One of them acts like he's a, like like he's the head of Fun Plus when he's talking to me. The uh, I mean, you can you can tell in text the different personality. Shauna Holloway. Oh, I hate. What are you talking about, Shauna? Ah, uh, game's not really wrong. That's one of the reasons I was showing Age of Apes. For all of us that are experts at playing this game and don't want to blow a crap load of money, the Age of Apes can keep you busy. Uh, I'm in Server 101 Gorilla. On age eight, I'm building an account there. I am highly entertained. Uh, the in-game tutorial is very good. The link to download that game on Android is at the is a pinned link for this top chat. When you pick a server to join, join server 101, uh, and we will uh, put together an. Uh, they call them gangs in there versus alliance. We'll put together an alliance at some point. Uh, I promise you, most of the skill setted stuff at Guns of Glory, we transfer that over to a new gang. You're talking about, you know, when it gets into the uh, gang on gang violence, people who follow my stuff over the years are going to beat the shit out of these people in a new game. <clears throat> I got 10 videos in the can ready to launch. Uh, the first one's already uploaded to YouTube. I haven't picked a date to launch it yet. Uh, I was going to get all 10 of them uh, uploaded to YouTube, let them simmer where you can't see them on YouTube. That allows YouTube to get the, get the uh, subtitles done. And then I was going to go translate them. And then I was going to drip them one every Tuesday for 10 weeks. A lot of 44s. Well, uh, yeah. Look, in Kingdom 592, there's 44s and 45. There's 44s. I don't think there's any 45s yet that are paper. They don't know it. They think they're big and bad. Uh, but they've been getting the badges for free because they, they just, the, the, the trolls run the kingdom. They, they send one cab. They, they, they do. It's like, hey, we're just getting our boxes. Don't bother us. And uh, they fed it all to themselves. So basically, you know, they, they ruin everybody else's fun so that they can feel good about themselves. It's like, look at my castle. It's bigger than yours. My castle, if you had to buy it, is worth X amount of dollars. And I just pissing me off with this fuzzy ass camera thing in the dark. It probably means this light needs to be brighter. But this light, I cannot control. It's when I lean back too far, right? It gets in the dark. The, uh... Yeah, it's... But that's what I've done forever, right? The uh, is show people that it's not about the what they say the number's in. Uh, 
you can beat the game with strategy. The uh, uh, the five nine two project was a failure for the most part simply because even the people in my own alliance got to the point where they were counting on the welfare that I brought to the table as a uh, I brought the welfare to the table because they took a brunt of abuse but they took no more abuse than they 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 should have been able to handle uh, and some of the systems that we built since then if they were built from the get-go uh, like firewall was in the planning for your alliance from the get-go no troll on the planet would ever get a would ever get a foothold in the, in the things but when the new kingdom starts they change the math now to where it is easy to zero out somebody even if they got large numbers of troops uh, it ain't until two months after the first KVK that your defenses start getting into full full number they handicap your castle and that gets into a whole bunch of math people don't even want to hear about the uh, some people want to hear about it there's always some guy like I'd want to know the uh, and usually the guy that wants to know real bad is a guy that works for one of the gaming companies and he's really interested in how the hell I figured it out so that he could try and prevent somebody else from figuring out he's doing it in his game the uh, at the end of the day it's math there's reality there's a way people really work you know, when you see the same response over and over again, it's not a person. Uh, when you see, you know, the same people in every kingdom, that's a process. The uh, Even a troll doesn't have the time to troll as much as these trolls troll. The, uh, these are account personalities that are built into the game. Every new kingdom, there's always some woman got some picture they pulled off the internet it's like oh she'll be the first queen and, and and then there's this always this kingdom chat talk up of how this is the person that's gonna be in charge because they all came from a kingdom where no one wanted to be in charge because it sucks but suddenly this person wants to be in charge go back to your old kingdom I'm sure they'll hand you the title every week if you push the buttons on time it's not a big deal <coughs> There's the reality of the game. Tell Amy hi and bye. The, uh, who's Amy? Good night, Chesty, wherever you are. For those who don't know, Chesty, Chesty Fuller was a heroic Marine, and that's why that line is in the movie. The uh, who the fuck is Chesty? <laughs> yeah, uh, tell Amy hi and bye. See, I don't get that. I don't know who you're hitting on in my live chat, man. The uh, I just don't know. Man, is this on top chat? This better not be on top chat. This better be on live chat. Live chat. See, I probably missed a whole bunch of chats because of that. You got to watch that live chat, top chat selector in your in your screen, guys. That is always on top chat, and it shouldn't be. I don't know. Nope. Never heard of an Amy. Not even a random discussion. <coughs> I put it out in the Discord channel that if any of those guys that got accused of cheating wanted to talk to me, they were more than welcome to. Because I suspect that if they weren't directly cheating themselves or part of a group that was cheating themselves, that they had one guy that was doing their buying for them and they didn't know that guy was cheating. So I gave them the the deal on that, but no one's no one's taken me up on my offer to clear up their name. Uh, 
And like I said, it may just be they want to move to another kingdom and they want to do it underneath a new name. They're tired of the, you know, all the other YouTubers that run around and says, oh my God, look at these Max Tech castles just throwing money away. You know, it, it's like they're, they may be tired of the popularity, the uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> tell him, yeah, don't tell him yourself. We don't know this girl. It sounds like you're alluding that she gets around. We don't know this fact. There is missing data from this information. The, uh, but man, the, I, I really got to say thank you again for all the response that I've gotten from the, the base videos. They're going to keep coming. Uh, I'm going to start dropping the Age of Apes videos, but they'll be tagged in YouTube for Age of Apes. So 99% of you won't even get notified that I dropped one unless YouTube figures out that, hey, it's a similar game to Guns of Glory and you would be interested in it. <laughs> I decided to do them because one, I enjoyed it. As the first video I, I'm about to drop, I, I told her that I was about to, that, a video that this showed that I was. I started playing it just to see what it was about. I was like, Age of Apes. I went in there and the graphs and the story and the, all this. I was like, man, they they did a good job on this one. Uh, you know, it's not pirates and vampires and uh, that kind of crap where it doesn't make sense. You know. Man blew up the world, and uh, the apes are now ruling it. Yeah, at least it's got a storyline you can follow. The uh, And if you know how to play Guns of Glory, everything in Guns of Glory is in there, and then some things are added. Uh, the the keep-you-busy puzzles are fun. Where am I? I'm, I don't see anywhere I'm migrating to. This is another failed migrant. Look at this. I mean, what, what we're talking about there, guys, is this is such a shitty selection to choose from on Kingdoms 400 to 600. The obvious choice would be for me to reach out anybody in those kingdoms and say, if you're going to migrate, migrate to my kingdom. And we'll start doing some KVK videos. But I'm the only kingdom not on the list. They thought of that. Before they optimize the migration, they de-optimize Kingdom 592 getting anything. Because what would that do to them? If you had 200 people fighting to get in to uh, Kingdom 592, what would that say about what you're doing for your game? You know, reality is 400 to 600s were so messed up that, uh, so no 592 option. Now, wait a minute. It may not be on this list because I'm in 592. So somebody else with a five, uh, a kingdom 400 to 600 account, go look and see if you can transfer to kingdom 592. Wait a minute. Do I have another? Oh, I just deleted the damn thing, didn't I? I just deleted that. Uh, I had a whole bunch of them. I had a whole bunch of like C26s and stuff. I just I just unbound them first thing. I wasn't even thinking. That's what I was just thinking there, what up high? Is, is I can't see it because of that. Oh. Well, if anybody on you YouTube that's wanting to know what kingdom to migrate to, there's nothing on my list I would want to migrate to, so I'm going to stay in Kingdom 592. Uh, but the kingdom's full of trolls, just so you know. Uh, the kingdom's full of liars who all pretend to be the nicest people you ever met on the planet. Meanwhile, their entire goal on the planet is to discredit me. Uh, even the people who came to play with me, including Turtle, she logs in every KVK and says hi and is all friendly and everything else like that. But she's one of the people that stabbed me in the back. The, uh, the, cause 
I didn't like the fact that we were giving away free loot and not playing the game. She took over KVKs and started started teaching these people how to negotiate a no-fight KVK. That's not KVK. That's not what I was doing. That's what she could afford because she was a free player. She couldn't afford to build up her castle to participate. So when she took over KVK, she didn't just take over management. She redirected it away from what KVK should have been. And what people who follow me come into play and wanted to learn. The uh, We had a good group of pseudo free players. But you get a bunch of alpha personalities in the same place. And what me and Ark had thought at the time, and it says, look, other alliances will spring up. You'll get people who will build up inside my alliance and they'll say, you know what, I'm just going to go start my own alliance and they'll break off 10 or 15 people from my alliance, go set up their own. We knew that we, we expected that to happen. That we, and quite frankly, we're fine with it. The uh, uh, Every game, every game, every game I've ever played, other alliances have harvested my trained personnel because you get people trained up but then the rest of the alliance is not caught up so you got three or four people who are ready for the next phase and they're not going to wait three months while everybody else gets around to it so those three people will peel off and then you just lost your three most experienced players then you always got some jackass who uses that as a, a statistic like you can't keep an experienced player over there no, because they want to play the game. That's what they bought. That's what they're paying the money for. That's what they're putting the time in for. I'm in the education system. You know, so as they build up, you know, and I explained this to everybody when we set off on this 592 thing, that I expected it to happen that way. But because of the time there was no migration, I'm like, they're not going nowhere. And at the end of the day, all those people we train are going to be there for KVK. But when some of these personalities split off, they did it in such a shitty way, like they had control of the farm alliance and just decided it was going to be theirs. Uh, and that wasn't going to happen. You know, so I had, when we first started up, we had three alliances on, that were, because we didn't end up, we had so many players, we couldn't put them in one alliance. And then you had people that were R5-ing a, a split-off alliance who forgot the hundred people in their alliance were there to play with Gunmuse, and Gunmuse wasn't in their alliance. You know, we're the sister alliance, we're the brother alliance, blah, 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 blah. No one gave a shit. It wasn't the Gunmuse alliance. That was a problem. I couldn't be everywhere at a time, couldn't do everything. And then when... I was building the firewall. It took me 90 days to build the firewall math. I was in an alliance by myself. I didn't even talk to my main alliance for 90 days. And I started, at, when I when I come back, The uh, I was looking at things that had drifted downhill. The, the daily stuff that should have been done wasn't getting done. The R4s weren't doing the work. I wasn't in the alliance. I wasn't paying attention to the, fact, the things that weren't getting done. I know what they were trained to do. I know that they knew how to do it right. They just decided, I'm in charge, and I'm just going to tell people what to do. And the tell people what to do portion of it doesn't fly. No one's paying money to be told what to do. The uh, They come to that kingdom to learn how to do it. And so the Splinter Alliances, people that weren't quite caught up but had caught on, were jumping to newer kingdoms. The uh, because the 592 was also in this weird break, the KVK group we were in just go back to 590 and earlier, 589. So we're 592, we're in with 589. 589 got all their got all their damn guard, their was it their airship or their guards for free, and then we were also fighting up with with 520. And if I went anywhere. In the 500s, I think it's 520, but Dark Mystic doesn't play anymore. Or Widow. 
I'd go play with Dark Mystic. Oh, let's get in here. Where's it at? Five. King of 520? My estimated rank was at 522. Because see how low my rank would be at 522? The, uh, honestly, oh, look, the, uh, oh, I went from 122 to 125. My rank would be 125 there, so it'd be damn near free. If I was to do it, and this not started yet, that means coordination time is, is, is piss poor. Uh, see, 469, I'd be ranked 121. That tells you those are good KVK teams. 461, 144. So Kingdom 451, and I believe that Shannon's Disappointing Turtles Kingdom. I'd be 100, rank 144. Which means that's a good KVK team. Oh, look at there. Cape Kingdom 444. I'd be ranked 171. And then Kingdom 439. They're famous. But on, you know, there's a whole bunch of them here. 428. Four, but they could have bots on there that have got crap loads of power. Right? They could have farms that are freaking just logging every day building troops and it could be a, a, a peaceful kingdom that uh that does nothing but bots troops right so i'd have to do my research a little bit more if i paid to transfer it would be to play kvks once in a while 524 what what is 524 uh it's just people in their own kingdoms can't see okay i see that uh 524 is where you're at. <clears throat> or where Dark Mystic was. I got the delay between the chat and my conversation. I'm sorry. So I got to repeat my question in a different way. Oh my God, the scrolling is just terrible. Man. I had the mouse that I loved for a long time. And then that you saw when I was doing an Age of Apes, it was picking up the thing. I thought it was the mouse that was bad. I thought the mouse was, the button was going down and holding it. It wasn't letting go. So I tried to pull up the mouse button because I've done it in the past, you know, hundreds of times. Pull the mouse button up and you find a little piece of lint over a sensor somewhere. And that wasn't it. it I mean, it's software on that. Dark skin is 524. See, I'd be ranked 67 in Dark Mystic's Kingdom. Which puts me in that cheap category to get there. Yeah. And then I'd be in a kingdom right up against another YouTuber. Right? And that, a YouTuber I have tried to help several times and he can't get over his own ego to learn how to YouTube properly to get what it is. I've tried to hand off to Keychain. Keychain's in that kingdom just because Dark Mystic's in that kingdom. Yeah, he quit. Okay, so that's, that's why my rank would be so high. Yeah. But migrated to where? I would say in some of these kingdoms that are there where my rank is low, my rank, my new rank would be low. But I don't know where. I haven't been paying attention. This is an inter I wish I could print this list out. This is an interesting list. Okay, see like Kingdom 565, where I would be ranked number 8? That would be a good kingdom to start up my uh, 
you have you know where you built a castle and we started a, a t9 league you weren't allowed to go to c30 you know just cheaper troops to build you can buy whatever gear you want to buy yada yada because there's no way for us to stop it so don't don't try and create a rule against it the only rule is the stuff that we can control you get kicked out of the alliances and get get kicked out of whatever games we create, but everybody's got to be C uh, C29 or below. The uh, it's so easy to get the C20 get the T9s going, and build up a layer of troops with them, right? Well, Keychain was tied to Dark Mystic; they were at the hip. Dark Mystic told Keychain. I told I told Dark Mystic the uh I got Dark Mystic's cell phone number. We talked on the phone. Dark Mystic is the only player who called me when I was in the intensive care unit two years ago. The uh Why would I do what? You gotta be specific in chat, man. I I I got a delay. Oh, build a uh a league of players and like Kingdom 565 for C20. Just for fun, man. The, uh, just, you know, you, we could hold a once a month battle of our own. We can make our own damn tournaments. The, uh, we can do it during a no loss event so that you can build up your troops all you want to and you don't lose them. We fight each other. Blah, blah, blah. The, uh, you know, you could you could hold battles during Ike when you only lose you know a small percentage of your troops yeah yeah there's 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 a way to set the rules up set the schedule up and utilize the structure of the game to have fun in the game again uh i've been trying for years to get them to uh unfuck themselves they don't want to they they are literally so upset with me that they don't want to well see there there's kingdom 565 i don't know i wouldn't move my castle there but what i would do is is say kingdom 565 you know guys remember that they uh, go build a castle in Kingdom 565. Let's build an alliance full of people. And then let's turn around and figure out how we're going to set up a schedule and stuff. Oh, who cares about it? It's, it's about being, it's not, it's about not being more overpowered than anybody else, right? Uh, so, yeah, it the new troop skills start at T10s. And... They they did patch the uh, it used to be that your T9 distance was stronger than your T10 distance, uh, but they patched that. Uh, they fixed that in the uh, war library. Now your T10s can actually be worth a shit. Uh, the minute you went to C30, you lost a crap load of power. You it, it was never a good idea to go to C30. Everybody that I've ever seen is like, oh, I'm going to be C30 in four weeks. You better be C29 in four weeks and then wait until you got everything stockpiled to hit C, uh, C35. That's still true because of badges. So that you buy that $100 pack one time and it cuts your badge requirement in half. Going from C29 to C35. And then you want to make sure you get every badge building up before you click that palace to C35, because then you're going to have to pay full price. The, uh, yeah, but it, it, you, you could, if you built up a kingdom like that, you know, Diana, what Don, Diana, Diana saying is, what about the troop skill stuff? Because we do get all that stuff for free uh, to build up the troop skills. Then you could turn around and have a C-35 cap alliance just as easily. No one's allowed to be over C-35. You're not allowed to go to C-39 or C-36. The, uh, the, you know, you're limited to T-11s and you can have your, your 10s and 11 skill set, but you can't have your, 
And you can do the same thing with C40s. If it got to that point, like, well, we want to build a C40 league, then go build a C40 league. But you're at the, the, the taller you build the castles, the fewer players you're going to have. Because the taller you build the castles, the more work it is to build the troops, the more timers, you get a lot of free timers out of the expeditions. If you capped it at T9, you'd actually get enough timers to grow every week. Every week, you'd be growing and not have to spend a nickel on speed ups to replace your troops. The, uh, there's a bunch of math in there. And that's all true today, but it doesn't mean it would be true forever. Uh, you know, Guns of Glory has, a, has the ability to go in there and start screwing up stuff that I put into place. Uh, the big reason I've never done this is I don't want to manage it. I would love to play in it. I do not want to turn around and set up events and, you know, it's, there's people out there that, that do the brackets for softball brackets. Cause you're talking about like a softball bracket and there's software I could buy. I could put on the website if somebody else was managing it to where you'd have one team fighting another team uh, and set up a tournament. You, we could have all kinds of tournaments. If you had like eight alliances, you could, we could set up our own alliance on alliance tournament. And if we had that kind of thing, I would turn around and put prize money up. Guns of Glory wouldn't have to, right? If there was at least eight teams in one kingdom wanting to do that event, I'd put up a hundred, a hundred to two hundred dollars a month just from prize money. Uh, might even charge a tournament fee to get your alliance in the tournament, so that there's a big pool of money for the winners. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, the but see to manage stuff like that, I've got to get people's contact information, and then we got to go buy them their gift cards and their whatever their money that they're earning and things like that. At that point, you get the politicians who don't like me that are going to turn around and try and prosecute me under California game show laws, uh, and I got to be careful of that. There's a lot of crap into this. I know 99% Oh, excuse me. 99% of the people just go on to YouTube start start chatting away and it looks like I do that too. Uh You're ready for migration. What kingdom are you in now? What's up? Dark Mystic was the only KVK. Well, that's not true. I mean, two turtles uh, benefit. Her kingdom does fight a KVK once in a while. I can't get the 362. How, how shitty is that, right? I'll wait till the next migration. Maybe it'll go from. You know, it'll in the next migration it'll be instead of one to two hundred, it'll be one to four hundred, right? And then it'll be four hundred to eight hundred. And so then the next migration, after that, I might be able to get back to three six two. So we're looking at two migrations from now. I can make my make my way back to three six two. Yeah. I've been trying to get my old castle back in 362. No one's... I, I, I never did get that girl's contact. Like the girl I gave it to, I never did get her contact information. I understand she's still playing it. Uh, so I imagine she doesn't want to give it up. The uh, creep didn't want to give up his castle, even though his is, his is so out of date. Uh, Sarah, how you doing? Sarah, you know where Amy's at? That's just going to become a thing now. Yeah. The Creep still has his castle there. I talked to Creep two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Look, I can't do a lot of painting. I, you know, I, even if I, I could move tonight, 
I can't move tonight. But like I said, we did a whole bunch of surgery on the dogs. So all my fun money's gone there. Had to buy a new dishwasher. Because the red-headed one I live with wasn't washing the dishes. The, uh... So now I'll just move to C... Oh, C42. Move it to my current kingdom and give it to someone in my alliance. What kingdom are you in, Rick Rick? The number one source of income for, for all these games, these strategy games, is fleecing people who think they got to get ahead fast in order to not spend money later. If you can dominate your opponents in a pay-for-win game early on, it theoretically lowers your cost. That's the way every YouTuber has explained it for the dawn of time, with the exception of this dumbass guy called Gunmuse, who is now the king of these freaking games. Uh, and I have explained to people how to slow your roll if you want to keep your roll. The uh, 173. What, ca what, what castle do you have that you were going to give away? Maybe I want it, man. Not going to put a bunch of money in any castle that I got given. I, I wouldn't put a bunch of money into it because if it's ever been bound with King's Group, somebody steal it right back. That's the thing people got to worry about. This is prime and ripe for people going, yeah, I, I got an extra castle now that you can play because you're blocked out of these kingdom things. And if those castles are bound with King's Group, all they got to do is go back to King's Group and they, they can unlock all them other binds you put on it. You're, you lost any money you spent. No, that person stole my account. That kind of crap. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that if certain castles like Girl Is No One got banned and they can't log into them, Yes, but how would somebody know if that person did that? What's up? Does it send a mail to the account saying your king's account group has been removed? If, 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 if that was in my castle and I saw that, but what it what it never says is, is it, that I bound it. So even if it sent that message, I couldn't trust that you didn't rebind it five minutes later. I'm playing GOG and Age of Apes. Age of Apes is linked up at the top, guys. You want to follow? I'm starting a brand new castle. We're going to start. I got 10 videos already ready to go for Age of Apes. Uh, the uh, I, It's a much better game than Guns of Glory and KOA. Uh, it's built by a different company, Tap for Fun. Uh, the instruct in-game instructions are way better. Uh, the... There's still a, there's so much to the game that there's an opportunity there as an instructor for me to do videos and to build a community around that. Uh, I can also say that playing around in the chat, I didn't see a bunch of disgusting chat information. Your same hustlers are in there that are like in every game, but it wasn't vile. And the way the chat box set up on that, it is definitely... Uh, a little easier to ignore the BS chat. So that's always good. Uh, so Age of Apes is what I'm playing. I, you know, I, I pin the link so that you don't get lost or don't Google it up and wind up on something else. And then the uh, you get to choose a server that you're going to build a new account in. I am in server 101. It is also called Gorilla. The uh, I, tr I picked a server that was the 
I picked a server that was easy to remember. I think they're up to server 150, but they're spawning servers left and right over there on that Age of Apes because they're doing a great big marketing push. And the mini games, the, the, the keep you busy stuff so that you log in every day to play, are a lot more fun than anything Guns of Glory or KOA has. Uh, the uh, And basically, you can choose, pick and choose your mini games. The rewards are pretty good. Uh, I've almost maxed out what we, we would call guards. I've almost maxed out two of them. Yeah, I spent $45 to buy one that dropped when it offered at $5.99 uh, just because I wanted two elite guards that I could work on. The uh, And then... Call of Duty Mobile. Rick, I can't play a first person first, first shooter game anymore. Uh, the. What we got going on now? That shouldn't happen. Hold on. I see a. Something I shouldn't see. Bottom third. That's. technical issue hold on i don't know what was up with that i think i just i think oh i think i'm leaning over out of frame got all the new camera sets up in here this i had more space in the other room i'm only got what, 15 feet across this room uh you guys remember the other shop i mean when i started out my office was so big I, I had my monster cooler in there but man i got that 2300 electric bill i unplugged that monster cooler the uh i don't know I'm yelling at my wife like she's a 13-year-old. You're like, turn off the bathroom light. You know, it just, <laughs> that $2,300 electric bill just freaked me out. Uh, why not used to with Koji? Used to what with Koji? Where's he? What was he asking me for? Kingdom is P oh C forty two Kingdom Yeah, but Rick, I, I tend to I tend to attract the people who aren't peaceful. You gotta remember that. That's not fair to people who are, are enjoying their game. Uh if, if I do a kingdom move, I more than likely would have to hide who I am just to play. So it wouldn't be playing with gun muse anymore. You know, and, and some of what I do has to be done in entertainment value. So there's a personality to it that's not my personality. You know, so. No, I got uh, new lights. This is an actual proper, in the other space, I had uh, uh, overhead lights. So I got a light that's right in front of my face right now. Uh, lighting my face like it's supposed to be. And then I've got lights lighting up the green screen behind me so that the software can do its job easier. Uh, and to be honest, I this isn't enough light in front of my face. So, see, I, I just took my camera out of focus because there's not enough light in front of my face. Uh, so I need like three lights up there and... When I do that, I've got to get them on a uh, switchboard control. 362 was always peaceful, with the exception of HEH. The, uh, the trolls over there hadn't learned how to be a complete pain in the ass yet. It's the same, the same trolls in 362 are the same trolls that I've had forever. They're the same people. Uh, they just hadn't learned yet. You gotta understand that anytime you attack or draw out an enemy that you can't just flat out kill, really kill, make them go away because you killed them type thing. The uh, hey, game is just joining uh, the YouTube. 
less than 5% of people get a YouTube alert banner. You've got to be in the Discord. And I don't blast out. Don't turn your Discord notifications off for my channel. Uh, I don't blast shit out all the time. You are not going to get ping pong from my Discord every freaking day. There are guys, Discord channels, that I have got to completely silence because that at everyone button they think is just their personal freaking deal. Uh, so, yeah, you've got to join the Discord. RogersRaiders.com Discord. The, uh, and uh, I'll add, I, I try to remember to add everyone. We only had like 12 viewers until I notified the score, and then we've, we're at 20 minute average time now, and uh, 23 lives and 169 who went back to the beginning to listen. The uh, give everybody H E H has changed. H E H just doesn't have anybody to fight. They they can't be themselves because they don't have anybody that that they think they can. They, they, in the mind of a, call them a bully if you want to, in, in their mind where they thought they were a bully, one, they couldn't hurt me, and two, they, you know, they still are under the impression that I left the kingdom because I got zeroed. I left the kingdom, and two months later, somebody zeroed the castle. I mean, literally a two-month difference between the two. And the, it was Bloodhound that zeroed the castle because blood because the H.E.H. trolls told Bloodhound that I was telling people about a disease he had that I didn't even know he had. And it was uh, somebody else had made a remark about it and he went off about it. And then I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then come to find out it was just a, a sore spot for him no pun intended the uh and he never let it go it was if he'd have just shut up and let it go and realized it wasn't nobody nobody knew nobody knew anything because nobody knows what you don't tell them in this game the uh is what it is what are you gonna do uh, but I bring a drama club with me. So if I was going to move to a kingdom, I would create an account in that kingdom and have a talk with the primary alliance of the kingdom before I ever dreamed of moving uh, a castle there. They, I, I, all honestly, I would give the kingdom the right to reject me. Uh, it really is not fair. Uh you're going to start seeing some foul crap in the, the kingdom chat. And no one wants to see that. And what, and, and everybody goes, well, we'll ignore it. We'll just put it, we'll just, we'll just mute them. It, it doesn't work. After a few months, somebody thinks they're clever and they want to engage them. And then boom, it's on. The, uh, and kingdom 362 is still head on KVKs. And it's still fairly peaceful. And I tell you, I was an absolute tyrant about my members not being in Kingdom Chat. If you went and ran your mouth, even against somebody that was foully running their mouth, if somebody went in there and made a sexual comment to one to, to anybody, my members were allowed to go zero them. But you couldn't mouth off in Kingdom Chat about it. That was the rule. Uh... The girl, I gave her a castle. Matter of fact, I gave her my souped-up castle in Kingdom 312 for a C26 she got for free in Kingdom 362, which if I went and found my list, I could log in. I've got a C35 in, in Kingdom 362. I think I got two of them. I, I built up a lot of stuff over there. Uh, the... The... What was her name? Khaleesi? The Game of Thrones was real big at the time. She was Khaleesi or something like that. She was a girl that was in law school. She had no money. She was working like two jobs, but she liked to just take her frustration on that stuff. 
And she was a pretty, in real life, a pretty little girl, and everybody gave her free shit. Uh, but you, you loan her her your, your castle to go play an event, and you were going to be out of gold. I mean, if you had 200,000 gold in your castle, she sped hit everybody in your castle when you loaned it to her. The, uh, it, she wasn't a cheap date. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, Hellhound, I heard, disregarded? Did who quit or dip or banned? Disregard. Disregard. Hold on. What are we took in here? Uh, I'm missing something on the conversation there, Sarah. Well, the rumor is they got caught cheating. And I would have to say I would drift towards a got banned over everybody quitting on the same day, right? You're talking about individuals. So if six of the biggest players in the game who play every everyone all quit on the same day, that is an expensive drug addictive habit that these guys are feeding quitting doesn't sound right the uh so i answer banner's question it's not said i don't have enough light for the camera setup I, I'm, I'm in a completely different building than i was before uh i, I moved the studio to the house because when winter comes i can't be walking outside to, I don't have a bathroom in the other building. And uh, if I have to walk outside and pee all the time, I'm going to wind up with more lung problems this year than I would have last year. And uh, I'm completely blind to my right eye now. And I am literally, if I don't stop picking my beagle up, I literally, you know, when, when you pick things up real heavy and it stresses your eyes, I could blow out my left eye if I don't stop doing that. I'm not even supposed to bend over for fear that the blood pressure will blow out that vessel before the surgery. So, and I'm, I don't listen to doctor's orders because one, I, I didn't know that for three months and that hadn't stopped me. The room that I'm in was a bedroom that we also stored when my wife was in Africa. Uh... We were shipping clothes to Africa, and uh, we still had probably 500 pounds of clothes and boxes. <laughs> we I loaded up the, the pickup truck, completely cleaning out this room, just a little, like a dump load. And uh, the bedroom set that was in here, all, all it was was a bed. And it was even hard for me. I mean, I, I can't move that much weight, but I slid it across the floor on, you know, on the hardwood floors. It wasn't hard to slide and slid it out the front door and stacked it up there trying to give it away. I'm going to wind up having to pay somebody to put it in the truck. The, uh, and, uh, so th that's, I, I've, I've had to move everything into the house for, for medical reasons. Uh, I am homebound at this point in time, and October 1st, I'm actually eligible to get my hired help that's supposed to be helping me with being home now, homebound, uh, and so that will change things too, because my health is just going to keep declining. The uh, Ain't no way around it, but I should be able to do this for a while, right? Uh, I'm going to try and get a hold of Tap for Fun and see if they can fix the Samsung Dex problem because that's a handicap issue. The uh, the color issues that Guns of Glory says they fixed, they didn't fix them. Uh, Lone their castle. Well, we had guys in Kingdom 312 who had accounts that if you counted up the amount of spending they'd done, you know, they may have been hacking back in the day. Kingdom 312 was a big KVK kingdom. Uh, it was the first kingdom I started filming in. 
It's the first time that there were ever KVK strategy films being built. Uh, you know, and I was so new to the game when I joined because 312 was my first kingdom. I didn't know how big I was. I didn't know that I understood the game so much more than other people did who were all quote unquote, I've been doing this for years. It was the first year of the game. People would swear, you know, there, we've had people to join them, Kingdom 592, that swore they've been playing Guns of Glory for five or ten years. And it's like, welcome to the fourth anniversary of Guns of Glory. I mean, we're, we're on year five now, right? This is the fifth anniversary. Uh, <laughs> but they swore that they, they, they've been playing for ten years. Uh, they just don't know. The, uh, you know, what you say online is the truth. But 312, they had guys that constantly spent money and built up an account and never played any of the loss events they didn't even play <clears throat> the no loss events like the uac so we you know they just never played on the weekend but they logged in every day and built up their accounts and this was after i left 312 they talked it was like loaned it to cleesey because it was a big account and she sped hit and burned him out of gold because he was buying stuff every day. He had tons of gold, but he never used it. Uh, so that's why they were loan accounts, is you had people who played Monday through Friday but didn't want to play in the events. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, prior to Kingdom 312, I think, I was playing the game during the first anniversary event. Okay. Uh, so they're prior to Kingdom 300, they spawned up Kingdom so fast. Like what I'm seeing in the Age of Apes. There's just tons of brand new early kingdoms being spawned up. So having somebody like me turn around and say, okay, here's a kingdom in the early kingdoms that we're going to kind of focus people who know how to play strategy games at. Kingdom 101. Server 101. Server 101 Gorilla for Age of Apes. Uh, Rick, that's what Bloodhound was. Bloodhound had maxed out accounts, and his spending came around. Lots of farmers. That's not that's not far. You know, we, we say farmers, we think digital farmers, but there's a shitload of guys that, that go up and down the field playing phone games. Yeah, uh, and farming doesn't pay bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Not most farmers. You got to try to screw up farming, to be honest. The, uh, or be legislated out of it. Why do we have so many people on my live stream right now? Uh, am I saying bloodhound? Yeah. Yeah, Hellhound. Yeah, that's great. It is Hellhound. Yeah. Uh, there's a good question that somebody's going to ask. I don't even know if you could get into my alliance. My alliance is not clicking the help button enough. I can tell you that. But it's not dead or... I was literally thinking today about switch, looking around for a different alliance. I randomly picked one that looked like it was doing well. They're getting lots of research, but I don't know how much of that is botted. Uh, you know, I haven't had enough time with it to find out who's botting what. Uh, so there's, you know what, while we're here. So all the things that you see in Gun to Glory, all the help and stuff, Oh, look at there. Now that's a that's what they call a fighter, which means I got another I got another guard, but I already got him, so I'll be able to level him up. Okie doke. Deluxe banquet. Uh, that's crappy. Can I order five? Nope. Got to be careful of that. CDs are gold in here. 
Uh, oh, look at there. Got some research. Just like everything else, the research and the research is more important in here because the research is part of your 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 troop abilities built into your research down here, and that's limited by batteries. Uh, a walk in the dark, training facilities. Now, see, I can't see that research lab thirteen. They've got to be more careful with the use of these reds. Some people, you know, about ten percent of the people are actually colorblind, so that it's really ridiculous what is a walk in the park uh, marching speed we'll do that hit the help button oh I was gonna look and see what 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 gang I'm in uh, see this is where it's kind of hard so if I go to gang Galaxy, AOA Galaxy is the gang that I'm in, but I don't know that they're kicking people out that aren't playing and making room. Anytime, you know, I picked an older looking server because I thought it'd be more established. Uh, and then I joined one that was open. So, but if enough people came over here, we, you know, and there's a room in the Discord already built up for it. So I will turn around. Clan boss. Is Galaxy the clan boss? No. Star David shit. That's our clan boss. Our leader. Welcome to AOA. Let us develop happy together. And you know, it doesn't even sound like proper English there. Needs. Help positively and donations. The uh, to, 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 to. territory. I don't quite understand all the events yet. Now the train event. Where's the train event? Is that still going on? Starting in 32 minutes. That's been getting a lot of activity. And I don't understand what creates the activity there, but the first time I played it, I was like the only person playing it. And uh, these are challenges, and I'm stuck on the impasse trials. The great train race, it's weird. Rick, almost every aspect of this seems like KOA Guns of Glory, which is better story. Uh, I like the way the research is integrated in. So, like, look at my look at my build cap. So I'm gonna go in here and train. I can train uh, 850 pilots, which is infantry. Okay, <clears throat> I can train 850 of these pilots at a time. To train, uh, so I get 50 more as I level up the building, and then I get 300 more right now because, or um, 300 of that is uh, in the research. So I like that restriction on how fast you can build stuff up. Uh, once I get to VIP level seven, the auto training becomes where I can just go in here and just click the button. Go beep, 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 beep. And burn through all my speed ups and all my stuff in a better fashion. But I haven't reached VIP 7 yet. Uh, go ahead. And there is, instead of having an alliance farm, uh gang distributor owner i don't understand what the uh view these gang food number of resources i don't understand what that does statistics may contain resources points covered see there's some of these things are out here on the maps there's there's great big like what is that a mega junkyard can i attack that 
or does it have to be another mic? Okay. So I got to be within the borders. What is this? That's a level 18. There's no way I'm kicking their ass. I'm a little I'm a little guy still. But no one's really much bigger than me. I'm catching up. So this was an older server, an older kingdom, and I caught up pretty quick. But then I know how to play these games, right? I I took everything I knew about Guns of Glory, and when I saw it pop up and knew what it was, I knew what I needed to get early to get ahead. So I've been doing that. And then uh, I, the tutorial that you're going to go through uh, I, is a really good tutorial. And then what I did is I went through, I, I started over in this kingdom, and I went through the tutorial up to chapter 11. And I translated between the two games to bring the audience over. Because I think a whole bunch of people who are sad and tired of Guns of Glory, this is the place to go to right now. Uh, until Guns of Glory capitulates to my will, I'd be happy to take all their customers and take them to a completely different company. Uh, the graphics are better. The interface is better. My only problem is a handicap issue and a filming issue is, is the only problems I've really had. Other than that, everything else has been easy to see. Okay, hold on. What's this? Oh, that's right. I'm going to be able to level up that fighter now. All right, so... You level up the fighter. Then he's got talents. So things they took away from Guns of Lory, like uh, the ability to add speed to your guards or your, your, the fighters in here. Well, I can go choose one of three trees so that my fighter doesn't look like anybody else's fighter when he's in a pair. So like on this fighter, I got him down on skill set because he's a blue fighter. He's required for certain events. So I know I'm going to bring a epic guard, and then i got to bring this blue guy with me. So what he does is he boosts my epic guard, is what I've set him up to do. Uh, this just knowing how games work. And the reason I went through is all, all this skills down in this one is troops. So no matter whether it's the infantry or the distance or the... The attacks and the damage number increases are all troops, all skill sets. So it doesn't really matter which guard I pair him with. He becomes a booster to that. Uh, things that I will get into later when I start doing films for this game. Game of Thrones or Rise of Empires. Rise of Empires tried for years to get me to play their game. Uh, I looked at it twice when they, when they tried to get a hold of me. Hold on. We'll go in here. I just had uh, new audio. Don't switch. Let's go. Uh, can you see that? Where is? You can't see that. Okay, good. I'm going into my Discord here, and I'm looking for what? We've added a lot of people to Discord, but not a lot of people stay logged in. I would imagine that if you've ever been in a Discord room and gotten anything like what I've gotten, just in the form of spam, the uh, because their their Discord channels are free. Mine's fifty bucks a month. I can buy a dedicated server for the same money. And I have the, uh, but there's a lack of trust online. The other guys have abused trust online so bad that it's hard. Mystic content. 
you got to specify which Groot, Deanna, because the Groot that was hanging around in our Discord, the German one, was not the original Groot that everybody knew by brand name. There's Groot, and there's Groot 147 or whatever his kingdom was, right? He come in to correct it all one night because he, he kind of knew someone was sponging off of his, the money he spilt and built up his brand name. People were sponging off of that. And that guy didn't even build, I mean, like, I haven't built up my castle to Kingdom 440. So he's in some kingdom that just died. The, uh, yeah, well, 747 now, but he was, so. oh, well, that was, Oh, okay. Seven, uh, 747 was the one I launched on New Year's Day, wasn't it? Okay. I've forgotten. I think I unbound that account the other day. The, uh... I'm looking in the Discord channel here, and I'm looking for the two games they tried to get me to promote just recently. I'm trying... Trying to find my private chat. Where's my private chat? Just for giggles, Monterey Rye. Is it up here? Direct messages. There we go. There we are. Okay. Uh, let me scroll up before I... You don't need to be reading the five pages of business information. Uh, Last Fortress Underground was one the company wanted to wanted me to wanted me to play. And Rise of Empires. Last Fortress Underground is a game that I actually have played, and I did enjoy it. The uh, I don't know if the community portion of it comes later, but I don't know why I quit playing it. Ooh. Yeah. Where's my B vitamins? I'm yawning. Yeah, so I can walk away to the refrigerator and get me another monster. Without going off the line. Yeah. Let me go back here to Dax. You get this purple guard for free. And I'll tell you. So if you're, if you're going in there to play the tutorial. When they give you that purple guard. Throw everything at her. It'll make your life easier. She's very powerful. She's, she's got an area of effect. And uh, so you get this little cross hybrid between these things are the guard, the fighters are casters and things like that. So let me go search and show. Uh, I don't want to go pick on somebody big. I'm not that big yet. Okay, so attack. March. I don't know why I have to click the button twice to attack. Now, one of the things you can do, and, and you would, it's different from Gun of Glory, like, so you go attack a threat. I could have told it to attack the threat and stay there. Say I wanted to go attack a threat, stay there, don't come back to my castle, and then go from that area to another threat and to another threat and to another threat. Because right now I only have two marches. And I don't have enough troops for both marches. One march is like 20,000 right now, and I only have 30,000 troops total. Yeah. Now, this is a very inactive alliance chat. That's one of the reasons I was wondering if I wound up in a bot farm of some kind. Let's see if it filters me. Yeah, it filters. 
the HTTPS. So there's that. Uh, what happens with a copy? What if I paste it? Yeah, so it it it, it gets copy and pasted with the filter as well the the three dots uh, so there's going to be some manipulation when you drop it into a, a, a browser on your phone uh, uh, I don't know how many kingdoms are on this spot here And I would say that at some point someone is going to recognize my name. I would I would almost guarantee it. Uh, you go walking down a damn you know street like that, you get recognized. My my VFW picture. It's not on my device when I upload when, on this device. To make it a recognizable icon. Yeah. Like I said, we're still doing starter quests. And it looks like the starter stuff is 21 days. So I went to an old kingdom and I got all the starter stuff that I got in the new kingdom. Uh, now this has cannons on the walls for the defense that are separate from the walls too and i don't know the relevance of that there was a little how to and we did a video on it but i don't know the route so there's there's enough difference here that there's going to be a learning curve uh and then you're going to get the well you just do this crowd right and they don't know why they're doing it because somebody else told them to uh they don't know if that guy's full of crap but he sounded like he knew what he was doing and you don't know so it is what it is and I'm hoping to get in here early enough to learn and put out proper information. And then so that when people go out and Google it or YouTube it, uh, I'm using the proper language, the proper keywords, and talking about the little stuff that uh, will help people out before there becomes bad information. I'm hoping to get ahead of the Fun Plus stuff. See, when I did the Fun Plus stuff, uh, there were... Three guys, what, Cowboy, Phoenix, all with all with more subscribers back before I started than I've got now. So they had fake subscribers. I went through the years where we had a half a billion dollars a year being spent, according to the Google numbers. And I never got 30,000 subscribers. The uh, And I'm always a realist about the numbers. It having a subscriber number is of no value to me if no one's watching the ad the uh the ads what pays the bills the uh so only reason somebody will endure the ad is if they're entertained so when you know it and to find the subscribe button now is a nightmare uh if you're watching this on your your smart tv you can't find it. You're 100% reliant upon Google telling you, hey, you like this kind of content. We're going to show you more of it. But then Google reads my transcripts and they freaking start blacklisting who they're going to let me talk to. Uh, even though they're not supposed to be doing that with my account. The, uh, they do it. The computer does it. So if I send in a complaint, it gets corrected. To be honest, a whole bunch of my old content just started getting a ton of views. After I did those four videos, people went back over the old stuff like crazy. Uh, the uh, and so there's there's that that's that's what we wanted to have happen all along. But to build content for this stuff, you've got to build it in reverse. 
you got to know you got to show what the end game is going to be then you got to build a bit video before the end game then you got to build the video building up to that video and that's the way the youtube you need to build it in order to flow the traffic in youtube it's not the way we want to build it in a lesson plan you want to start at the beginning and go to the end but youtube's the problem there the uh i can't go build lesson one and link to a video that doesn't exist yet to tell you hey lesson two is going to be here they won't let me so i gotta upload video one and then i gotta go make video two then i gotta go back and edit video one so that i can show you what's in video two and and not lose the audience between the lesson plan the uh it's not friendly it really is they want quickie whatevers watch it for three minutes watch an ad they want to serve more ads per minute than than content per minute you know content per minute when they have they when youtube has to endure 25 minutes of bandwidth and only gets to serve two ads to them that's not good the uh yeah that's a good feature the uh I, I haven't used it yet i haven't needed to uh but i'm here's the thing when you get out into p player versus player content hi little friend you need a you need said don i've been listening to you for hours i need a pepperoni all right oh holy crap buddy and my beagle tells me when it's time to get up and walk around because apparently I needed to. My legs are warped. just all kinds of stiffened up. Huh. I'm not being selfish getting treats for myself. I am helping my buddy move, right? What is that noise? Oh, my gosh. Tell you what I didn't do. I didn't eat before I went on the air. Ha, that's funny now. When that happens, I can I, I can actually sit here and talk to you guys. Let me uh, do my little thing. And I'm hoping at some point here, because I got all the stuff in the house, I've been wanting to do cooking shows. I just want to. The, uh... All right. For those of you who grocery shop, I want to show you this. This is Fair Life Milk, all right, with the Omega stuff in it. And what they do is they take all the lact it's a lactose-free milk. And at Walmart, this is three dollars and something uh, for what is this half gallon? Might might be a quart. I don't know. Anyway, when you start pricing against other milk now, it's barely more expensive. It is way better milk. It is really milk. Okay, uh, you, when you first taste it, you're going to go, oh, that's different. Oh, that's weird. Because you have never had real milk. I will guarantee you 99% of you out there have never had milk that came from a cow. You had the milk that was processed by the government under certain laws. These guys turned around and built this micro-screening stuff. That noise I was hearing was in the... Uh, game. <laughs> they built the micro screening stuff. They filter all the stuff up. They filter the lactose out and then they put it all back together without the stuff they don't want. And then they add other stuff to the milk. And so the milk, this is like drinking protein shakes. So you don't drink as much of this milk as you would other milk. Kind of cut yourself down. The, uh, I just telling you I hadn't eaten, so it's crap loads of protein, about three times the protein of normal milk. Uh, have myself a big drink, and when I skip meals, that's been helpful. Uh, but one of the reasons that company is so much is, is cheaper than it should be is the price of diesels through the roof. That company doesn't use diesel in its trucks. It invented a plant to take all the cow shit from their freaking farms 
and turn it into a fuel. And their entire distribution to the Walmart Center is run off cow shit that they already had. And when they built it, it was expensive. What, my friend? Do you want up here? Come here. Oh. Ah, there we go. You want to go to bed now. Huh. Dawn, oh my God, it's bedtime. It says, we've had a bedtime. He got some teeth pulled. He had a sinus infection. Got all the way up into his sinuses. Got some teeth pulled. Yeah. I like to rub fuzzy faces before I go to sleep. The, uh, the, but that milk, so they're running on their cow shit, 36 distribution trucks. And so they, they, they truck the milk over and then Walmart pays the same freight no matter what. But the cost to get it to the Walmart distribution centers is now technically whatever the cost of making cow shit is for them. In other words, how they feed their cows, how they treat their cows. The, uh, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you really trying to go to a nap right there? Ah. Uh, Last night, my wife I went and you know, did the wash the sheets, wash all the beds and the pillowcases, everything like that. This dog threw a fit because none of the pillows smelled right. And he had to get his pillow just right and was throwing pillows left and right, like trying to find one that still smelled like the pillow he wanted to lay on. The, uh, the, yeah, that's what they want to hear is you snoring, snorting, fat beagle. The, uh, the, yeah, later, Deanna. Uh, maybe we, you know, if we put, if you work on that thing, maybe we'll put you in uh, charge of an alliance over there and we just won't be in a hurry. For people who want to play these strategy games, we just won't be in a hurry for this stuff. The, uh, beagles are the best. Well, they're little. They're not tiny dogs, right? This is a 13-inch beagle. They're not tiny dogs. Normally, they love everybody. Uh, this one you can't see. He's, he's blind in his right eye. He was when I got him. He was about four months old when I got him. And uh, I don't know what happened to him, but he hates people. He, he hates everybody but me. Even my wife goes, he hates me. And that's not true. He likes my wife. But at the end of the day, he doesn't want to be more than a foot and a half away from me. The uh, And that's because, well, my wife has done two tours where she's been gone for a year. The... Uh, the, and we just lost the other dog, which was his big buddy. Yeah, the golden retriever was his protector. Uh, the, yeah, I'm trying to go back to the text, but without opening up the window. Sorry. Yeah, because I got to pet a dog. And he's going to be upset when I set him down. Which is about to happen because you're pinching my shoulder up. And this was the thing I wasn't supposed to do, right? I'm not supposed to be picking up any weight. I'm not supposed to be bending over. And he's so little, I gotta bend over picking up. And he's 35 pounds. I'm not supposed to pick up over three pounds. Blow out an eye, go blind. You're the worst freaking CNI dog there would ever be. The only thing you'd ever see is a treat. Hmm. Yeah, you know what we should do? We should go get one of your chews. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Now we're listening. You want a treat? You want another treat? A different kind of treat? How about one of your chewy treats? You do want a chewy treat. All right, let's do that. Uh, all right. Beagles are not real quick on the uptake. Everybody sees them. They think they're cute. They're not dumb. They're actually quite intelligent. But they take a minute to process whatever it is the hell you're saying. Well, we got these, what are these called? Jerky chews. They're hard. We had his teeth pulled. 
So these are like a jerky rawhide, so it hardened his gums up. Oh, yeah, he's happy now. The, uh, of course, he's been getting the soft food, him and the cats. We had the cat's teeth pulled. The cat had cancer. We had to pull its teeth and uh, cut the cancer out just damn near up to his eye. The, uh, that cat looked like I betrayed him for all time. And I got this new office in here, and that cat has shit in here five times. The uh, He has shit on my green screen. It, it, the beagle's bed in here, and it looks like the cat peed in the middle of the bed. And it just shit on the other. Just, just absolutely hating, my, hating on me because he got dragged out of the house, down to the vet. And he's going to get even with me for all time. The, uh, and I'm allergic to cats. I'm like... You, there's that. So let's do this. Search. I haven't done it. Keep the position. Attack. Okay, and there's one of the bugs in this game right there. So let's go to settings. Ah. Uh. Language is English. Uh, reduce the number of soldiers, display avoiding lag. I don't have a lag issue. I like to keep the vibrate on alert thing going because, uh, it will notify me in the Samsung Dex faster than it will on the phone. So, sound settings. I can turn them down. But it's everything. So, like, if I turn them down here, they got this. They got these little movies that play. Well, I want to hear the movies. They don't separate the sound, so that's a problem. Yeah, beagles are nothing but the food in their nose. Whatever they smell, whatever they eat, that's it. The uh, but no, it it this is funny. Now the the last two beagles, the one we had that died a few years ago because he got old. Uh, he didn't like to be left alone. That's why we wound up with three dogs. Was one to have him have friend. This beagle's got the same problem. He doesn't like to be left alone. You could so we thought hand him a treat and walk out the door. We would come home, and that treat would still be on the floor. He was not going to be bribed to be left alone. The uh, refused. That's why we wound up getting him dog friends. And now all the dog friends have died. And this we had this beagle who had the same three friends that the other beagle had. And now all the dog friends have died, and this beagle's alone with me in the house. And he's he's been kind of upset about not having a friend. My wife's throwing a fit about getting another dog because she... She's still crying about the last one that died. The uh, that dog had three thousand toys in his house. The uh, and I've been, you know, as, as limited as I can. <laughs> I, I I've taken out three fifty-five gallon trash cans of dog toys. The uh, trying to get rid of the remnants of that dog. The <laughs> the you know just because it, it he was a really really good dog. The all dogs are good dogs. I don't have any problem with dogs. Uh, link account claim the two hundred. Is that what that button's been telling me to go get for a while? All right, so I I, I turned down the sound in the game. But that's terrible. I want some sound in the game. So that's it. it I, I can't separate the two. Let's see what all went on in here. I hadn't been paying attention to live feed. Uh. 
I'm about to be attacked to where we're here. I had somebody that attacked me the other day privately, and then the march went splat. I was built up pretty early. <laughs> yeah. You know me. I build troops. Two, 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 two. Yes, um, want to come explain some of the features of this game. Let's try this again. Well, there's a good question. What the hell? Oh, that you can take a picture of stuff and put it in that. That's. Da, 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 da. Sewer rat power. Tech city. All right. But this is not the, the thing we started for. We do our politics things, which we've done. And right now, with the, the things, is I'm on the other game. As far as YouTube is concerned, I broadcasted it that way. Uh, do, 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 do. Edit. Uh, Guns of Glory. New game. Age of Apes. Hashtag Age of Apes. Save. Okay. Bedtime. Yeah, I think it's the same thing for me. My dog just come in here. Uh, download the game. Get started on it. You come to see Kingdom 101. Maybe we'll build a little GOG migration over to a new game. Where we all spend less money because we know how to work together in the same spot. Everybody has a hard time giving up their Guns of Glory stuff uh, to to go from one kingdom to the next, knowing how much money it takes to set up over there. If you just know you're not going to, if you're going to have a bunch of people that hit the help button and log in every day and work together, then just we can go in any one of these games and start building it out. So I'd like to expand it out a little bit. And I, like I said, I'm putting the work in. I've been looking around for over a year and a half for something else. that, And this looks like it took a whole bunch of the suggestions we put out there, either because they're, they're simple and they make common sense, or somebody watched, paid attention, and incorporated their game. But a whole bunch of these suggestions were my suggestions. Uh, who, who, come, who, who came first really doesn't know. Uh, the... Man, I really like him putting the live chat up on the screen. That is helping a ton with the interaction with these chats. It really is. Uh, so Tuesday is going to be my first Age of Apes introduction video that I played at the beginning of this. I think I'm going to set that up. And then the following Tuesday, I'm going to go. I'll hopefully have some stuff done here and get another Guns of Glory one done. Uh, everybody's concerned about migration, and from what I can tell, with what they've done to migration, they murdered their own game. It, that's you want to get down to my opinion where I'm going to go? Nowhere. Uh, <clears throat> if you have the option to migrate to Kingdom 592 for free, do so. Uh, you know, I'm going to be free playing. If you want to come free play with me let me know in, in the discord and uh we'll i'll let you in the alliance over there we'll build up some structure uh 
But I kind of want to see people who migrated. I don't want to see anybody that's already in 592. Those people had their chance. They blew it. They got greedy. They started demanding things they weren't entitled to. The, uh, me spending money on their RSS wasn't enough. They had to freaking throw fits. <clears throat> Damn. Learn to play the game and not be a child about it. Yeah. You just piss me off. I get pissed off. They, they, they get so demanding of stuff that they just weren't entitled to. And they, they don't realize, they, there's no comprehension. It wasn't their money. The, uh, you know, that I was spending the money to make the tutorials. I wasn't spending the money to make so that they could play for free. That was not ever the point. The, uh, but the money spent over there. Matter of fact, there's a, I, I guarantee you, there's probably some kick ass abandoned castles in Kingdom 592. Yeah. I'm, I know there's alliances full of people who were, who were harped on to get their damages done. The, uh, is all what it is. Got to deal with the trolls. But my rule for Kingdom 592 is kick the crap anybody miles off. I don't care. Uh, it's upon the individual not to get zeroed. Right now, I'm zeroed in 592. It's my fault I'm zeroed in a 592. It wouldn't take me but 30 bucks to unzero myself and kick the crap out of the next guy who tried to zero me in 592. But I don't see a benefit to it. I, I don't see anything in the 4 to 600. Uh, except for maybe Turtle. The, uh, but then there's a limit to how many people can go play in one KVK. It's all well and good for somebody to go, well, we do good KVKs and we all show up. And I had this problem with Kingdom 362. We had 180 people waiting to play KVK. The, uh, but what we didn't have was two teams of team leaders. <laughs> It's great to have 180 players, but you need that six to eight guys who spend $800 a month playing, keeping their castle up to date and keeping their stats up to date. And we never had the, the two teams of that in 362 when I was playing. That didn't happen until later. The, uh, I'm hearing something in the other room. Uh, I'm, 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 this is, my, I'm just trying to get used to this new studio. That's the sound. I'm, I'm, my, my other studio got 10 inch thick walls that I soundproofed and a, and a ceiling that's, that had sound padding on it. I can hear an echo in here. So I'm going to have to do something with sound, paint, uh, all kinds of stuff before I'm going to be happy. My dream here is if I'm going to move this stuff indoors, then it's going to be, Stupid professional. If I've got the right soundproofing in here, I can go to one of those boom mics like everybody else has. But, you know, the, the, the headset's so much easier to make quality voice with. And I don't care what it look like. Yeah, uh, for the most part, you can't see the headset. Like the one guy saying, hey, did you put makeup on? No. And now i got lights that properly light me up. But the funny thing is, is when I look at that light, it looks like what, what women get for a makeup light. You know, so they put their they, they paint their face the proper colors. That's what that light in my face looks like is a, is a makeup light. And I know I can change the color all the way from blue to red. Uh, I don't know what the proper color should be. Uh, and if I change it, I got to go change the camera settings right after. The it's a lot a little work. All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate everybody that stayed this long. Uh, what do we run here? We started at nine o'clock. It's two in the morning. God uh, damn it, guys. Another five hour, five hour live. Do like, subscribe, any money that you donate. Uh, do it in stickers if you would. Uh, that money goes to charity. And I am going to be short this year on the charity. The uh, gaming is down 60% across the board for everybody. I'm not suffering as much. We're not down 60%. I'm only down 13 and a half percent, I think, at last month's calculation over the previous year's stats, uh, which for as dead as Gun of Glory is, is amazing. 
uh, everybody else has quit because there's no easy money. And the other thing is, is their videos weren't getting watched if I wasn't making videos. And so coming over and popping off your mouth to me about how I run a videos and how I do videos while your income is dependent on me doing my job is a basic lack of understanding and certainly no respect. As I said in the, the, the score, you know, this may be a shit mountain, but I'm King Turd on top of this shit mountain right now. And I, I, I'm here for the players benefit, not other YouTubers while I want other YouTubers to do a good job for the players. That's to the player's benefit. They're not doing it. We want them to do that kind of stuff. The uh, We don't want to look at that stat. All right, I'm yawning. This is going to make all you guys yawn. There's a good yawn for everybody to, to, to go, oh, I got to go to bed. All right, folks, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, gotta find my software here to turn off the